Sorry. Sire, step repairs are done. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember if you remember Captain Lucius at all there, Yelmug. Your character would recognize him. I guess is he from a previous campaign or something? No, he's he's from the uh, the Warbards guy you interrogated. Remember for the yeah, heresy or uh, trying to find that you're trying to sniff out the traitors. You're talking to the captain, one of the lieutenants. Wait, he survived. Oh yeah, he's on the bridge. He's just kind of like listening. He's on the data pad. He's on the bridge with you guys. Huh? Mm -hmm. Just walked in. Well, my character wouldn't recognize him at all, considering my character did not interrogate him. Yeah, I well, let... Who interrogated him? I, who interrogated I, him? Uh... Ancius. Ancius. Oh, that's right! I'm sorry, and, yo, Mark. Uh, and Zeal. And Both Zeal. two characters that aren't around. Yeah, I let... Uh, oh, technically Zeal is around. I let uh, Domenego let, uh, let Domenego know that Captain Lucius is on board. Let him know. And le actually let the rest of my kill team know that he's on board. So everyone is aware. And let's see. I simply stand and observe him. He just walks away. Figured he's doing something. So, you're not quite sure why. He's like on a little data pad. Was doing something. Tell you, he was obviously listening. And then he just walks away off the bridge. I would like to follow him. Because I was one of the few that didn't believe he was saying the truth. Okay. I That's just, right. I would like to no show him. you. You mean the only one who didn't believe he wasn't yeah. telling the truth? Uh, no, uh, Neo Tyre, Tyre son wasn't believing that as well, I think. So Tesseract's character also didn't believe that, I think. Or he tried to convince you and he, you kind of believed him, or something of that effect. I remember like two of us, when we rode, we... we, we uh, we didn't believe him, but the rest of you did believe him, so we just did nothing about it. So I'm going to try and shadow him, see where he's going. <laughs> uh, I guess I need to roll a silent move for that, to not let him know I'm Yeah. There. All right. Good luck, giant space marine. Hey, well, space marines are trained in stealth in their armor. So they are surprisingly stealthy. Some are. Some are trying to be silent. Yeah. All are, actually. Uh, any modifiers? Your Death Watch, your basic training was stealth. Uh, plus 10. Yeah, I've seen the video of them in combat, you know, monks. So they are pretty stealthy for being giants. I was by the Fate Point. Oh, oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Just seeing where he's going. Just trying to probably overhear if he's going to talk to someone. And I let my kill team know that I'm following him. I say nothing. <laughs> so he's walk. Yeah, he's just walking. He sees he's going through some corridors, uh, and he closes his corridor. It seems to be his uh, 
private quarters. I make a mental note of that, and I try not to go into that corridor, but try to listen in, see if I can overhear anything. Uh, I guess awareness. Give me awareness. I can just see it now like a Scooby Doo space. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Four space marines pop their heads out over a corner. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, use use my my uh fate point on that. All right, thank you. Okay. Uh, hold up. So you hear radio chatter. Radio chatter. Yeah, coming from his room. If the Dominic, if Brother Neo Tyson was here, he would have done something about it, but I'm not knowledgeable enough, so I just back away and relay that to the rest of my kill team. All right. Relay what? That there are some radio chattering chatter noises uh, emanating from his quarters that he may be uh, communicating with someone. Could be the Emperor for all we know. Yes. Without our tech marine's uh, expertise, we can do, we, we can know nothing. I, I am trained in tech. Oh, get, get down here. <laughs> <laughs> So you found that to your fellow space marine here? Down here. <laughs> and uh yeah, Mug, what is your character doing through all this? Uh not privy to any of that because I'm not technically part of their kill team. Yes. No, I know that. So I mean, are you um, making preparations? Oh yeah, probably. As I said in the last session, I'm mostly just spending the time prepping my kill team for another seance. Alright. That's right, because dude was going to have you do another seance to track him down even harder, I guess. Well, I could just just to verify that he's still at the place that we're right. probably going to go to, because it's been a week. Right, and Moth, what is your guy doing? That's a good question. Because you're on... I guess over the past week, I've been running around the ship, putting down demon traps in key locations. On your ship? Okay, yeah. I just picture, for whatever reason, bear traps. But <laughs> no, I, I literally have the ability to put down a seal that's like 150 meters wide that will stop a demon or a warp entity if it goes in it. Well, I'm sure yeah. I just, in my mental head, the moment you said demon trap, that's the only thing I pictured was just a, like... <laughs> a, demon, a demon bear trap. It's pretty much I'm just like carving runes and sigils and shit. In the Ginormous place. ethereal bear traps all around the ship. Yeah, he's like, okay, yeah, he's like, okay, guardsmen, don't go down this corridor. There's a bear trap down there. I mean, a demon <laughs> trap. And whatever you do, don't bite the carrots. There's a box of a string and a stick. Just don't worry <laughs> about it. Right. Don't do. Don't go that way. So no, are you helping him? Yeah, he also me. putting up flyers that say "demon season" on the walls. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So Yama, you can help him at all with his uh, trap setting, psy psychic stuff, for your ship prepping it for any warp entities. I mean, warp if warp. he asks, probably yes. Okay. I was just wondering what your guy would be doing that all this, because your guys would be your Although team. that's more of a a holy thing than. A full on psychic thing, so I don't know if the holy entity would ask the psychic entity to help nope. with holy things. True. Half the shit's just as deadly to you as it is to them. Yep. And then uh, Dan, your character made his or dude, your character made his way down to Dan. Because All right, what do you need help with? Uh, as far as I remember, you also had the mind impulse unit, I think. Installed. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, God I damn it. That's, that's Tesseract yet again. That's Tesseract yet again. Are you able to, in any way, to perhaps determine what the radio chatter is 
from 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 far away the information containing that radio chatter. Yep. What kind of gear do you have, dude? Nothing tech oriented. So I presume we cannot do that. Uh, In our suit? Can we adjust the suit to tune into that radio? You're a tech guy. Not me. You're going to try to see if you can just figure it out? Yeah, I just used my sh uh, suit to intercept the uh, to attempt to uh, intercept the communications. Right. All right. Modifier? Uh, minus 60. Nope. We're getting a report of a loose squig on board. Uh, <laughs> be sure we kill it this time and not use it as a soccer ball. I repeat, do not use it as a soccer ball. Kill the squig on sight. <laughs> uh... Oh. So after attempting that, I respond, well, can't listen to it through my uh, my suit. Can Could we... probably try to listen in th with the shift equipment, yeah, but can that's going to get logged. Mm. That's probably still good, because we still want to know what... We're not trying to hide uh, what that guy knows we're trying to figure it out or what he's doing so if it if it is even if it is logged then it's good so i guess we can go to the navigation terminal or or um, communication term uh, array or something i don't know a place where we can intercept the communications from right just to refresh your memory uh, the lieutenant was telling, if you remember during the interrogation, he was telling you that the computer was talking to him. This is before he found out about the warp entity. Promising him things. That's the lieutenant, his friend, the captain's friend, the lieutenant. He was talking to an entity that was promising him things. Is that on the computer. In the computer. Yes. Yeah, the lieutenant. Not the captain here, but you know the lieutenant was, and he was talking to this guy. And then he told you about, if you recall, just, this is your character remembering all the, I'm trying to refresh your memory. It's been so mm -hmm. long. Um, if you recall, he was uh, on a computer doing something. He wasn't sure what he was doing. And that's only until you got from the lieutenant. Because like, it, it, they delete the record or something like that, that they even logged in. The record was deleted. Yeah. You have to remember? He did the leader yeah. record. You guys started getting further. You guys had no proof one way or the other. So you let him go. And then they were going to investigate it. And then all that shit went down. So. Okay. Gotcha. As my memory was getting jogged around, <clears throat> I realized that we do need to. Uh, we should probably make sure that we investigate people from the last ship. I'm just thinking of the best way to use the ship to intercept the communication. <clears throat> we could also confront him and wait for him to leave. Mm -hmm. Or wait for him to leave the quarters and then investigate the set of quarters. Also, the refresh your memory, the only survivors you guys know of is the Inquisitor that you guys rescued. Yes. Just, just so you guys are aware. Yeah, right. I remember that. That's why I'm very surprised he's alive. And on a ship that has nothing to do with... Uh, wasn't he on the other ship? Mm -hmm. And not the war barge? Uh, he's on the war barge. He's on the war he barge. Was, he was on the war barge. You're sure That's about that? Yep. Positive. Yeah, because we confronted him there, and then That's we just mission. handed over to the Inquisitor to deal with. Wait, wait, was I... Have we re rescued him? No. It... He was no. not a part of our rescue. The only people that was rescued was the Inquisitor, as Boko said. I would like I to... Uh, would perhaps Inquisitor's Throne Age... I don't think she would know anything about it. Hold up. Can we, can we get the librarian over here and see if 
there's any weird psychic stuff here to see if there's he's like a uh, mimic or something. Good idea. <clears throat> The honor is yours. Right, so you're telling Yelmug's character about uh, this guy he looks very, very much like the captain you saw on the war barge, and somehow he's on this ship. Because right now he just looks like the captain you guys saw. Like, identical. 100%. Yeah. I tell, tell Yelmug, hey, this captain was in the war barge, and we have not rescued him unless uh, while we're in the war barge. He looks very similar. This is something just not does not feel right. Can you check check it out and do your psychic things to see if he's a mimic or <clears throat> uh, or something? First, God Emperor GM. Um... Am I aware of any other, like, shuttles or stuff that uh, arrived onto the ship? Because there was that, like, one shuttle that had come from the war barge. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, along with everyone else. Uh, so was there, like, any other, uh, like, Thunderhawks or other transport, small transport ships that we may so have you're gonna, recovered? You're going to check the logs? Yeah, sure. So you check the logs, yes, there's indeed... Uh... At least two more Thunderhawks of, of uh, officers that came aboard. Cool. Um, <clears throat> well, I am aware of at least a couple of other ships that we recovered after your Thunderhawk had boarded. He may have been a part of one of those ships. Hmm. But if you're suspicious, I suppose I can help. Lead me to him. The eyes are leading him to... Was it Captain Lucius? Yes. Yeah, I suggest we still stay at a reasonable distance. Do not let his attention... Do not uh, okay. let him know. But you're the captain. Yeah. Uh, you're a little we, 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 leader. We actually will, we will move to your, looking, to your position. Uh, and position. once we arrive, huh? To my position or to yeah. Okay, okay. To your area where you're kind of just watching. Yeah. Okay. He's further, and yeah, once we arrive, and I say, he's further down this hall. <clears throat> uh, we we don't want to be uh, too close to see if he's too close to let him notice. Because we don't know what's going on here. Mm -hmm. All right, Yelma, do your sci science, I guess, I imagine? Sci science? Uh, yeah, well, there's a couple of things I can do. Uh, okay. I'll do a sci science first on it. I guess just, you know, before I knock on the door and talk to the guy, if he's behind the wall, my sci science should pick up any psychic activities. So I'll do that first. Okay, go for it. Uh, any modifier? Uh, minus 10. Cool. Uh, and I'm not getting a fun plus 10 for our oath, because we're not on a mission. Wonderful. What a, how bad was it? Uh, oh, jeez. Well, I mean, I got it. I, without the minus 10, it's a 50 50 shot. So I'll I'll do one fate point, just the fifty fifty it. Cool, nice to see. You're not detecting anything super psychic. Uh something subtle in there. Hmm. It's very subtle. Interesting. Interesting. So our I'm not just right? Not necessarily. As soon as I find what voice I was actually using for myself, I'll be sure to use it. But for right now, I feel that there is something potential here. Uh, and I will wrap my gauntlet upon the door. Okay. It's 
and we're gonna voice Captain Lucius. Oh, I'll, I'll voice him. He goes, yes. Ah, Captain Lucius. I am conducting some interviews of those who have been aboard the war barge, and I would like to have a moment of your time if I could ask you just a few questions, if that's all right. Of course, of course. Um, so, while you were aboard of this ship, did you see, sense, feel anything out of place or unusual, or were you approached by any individuals, either physically, in your mind, or over a comms, what have you, to have you do something that you would feel be, at the time, odd? Uh, mm. And while I ask this question, I am going to use reading. Okay. Um, <laughs> just opened up a book and just read it in front of him. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, yes, and he goes, hmm. No, I uh, like I told the other kill team, I didn't see anything. And you're reading uh, him? I want to do a fate roll on that because it's not as high as I want it to be. Okay. And I may do fate twice just to make sure I get what I want. You can have my fate point if you want. I rolled the same number. <laughs> but it's better, technically, so it's going to be Yes, but it's better. still in the same result range, and I want it at least better than that. So I'll use one more. Yeah, you can have mine. And these fates don't stack, right? I think we made it out. No. Oh, they don't stack. Okay. 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 Oh. Last one. Or did we make it stack? I can't remember. I think we did. Let's look at the videos. If hey, we did... yes, that's the one I was looking for. Cool. Oh my god, it's super amazing. Okay, so I know all about it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the tiers because they just add to the previous tiers. So the first one. I get superficial impressions about the target person. This includes the three strongest emotions that they're currently experiencing. Uh, his race, obviously, well, maybe not obviously human. Uh, whether or not he has any psychic powers and a rough idea of his state of mental and physical well-being. Lastly, I can determine whether he's an untouchable or not, which is, you know, the psychic blanks. The second tier, which I just succeeded in, uh, as above, plus the Psyker gets a deeper insight into all of the target's feelings. And I get a plus 10 to all of my fellowship tests I can make against the target while my reading is active. Uh, the Psyker also gets a better idea about the target's physical state, along with his current wounds and fatigue levels. Finally, if the target has psychic abilities, I can sense his power and find out his Psy rating. Uh, that's if he's a Psyker at all. Um, and the third tier which is the one that I got, as above, plus I can determine how many insanity points the target has, as well as which addictions or madness he might be suffering from. If the target has psychic abilities, I can determine which disciplines they're from. Um, so hopefully that gets me a lot of information on this guy. So he's feeling... Let's see. Fear... Is the strongest one you're getting right now. Fear, an uh, annoyance is another one. So it's like it's more annoyed by your presence. Uh, slightly insane. He has some insanity points on him. So you detect there. He has a touch of badness to him. Uh, what else does it give you? What other information does it give you about him? Uh, I can determine if he's a psychic or I guess any psychic presence that's oh. affecting him maybe. No psychic presence. That's what. Uh, I mean, it says specifically determines that he uh, if he is psychic. However, I'd imagine this would kind of include if he's affected by any psychic things. Uh, something from the warp definitely has touched this man. You get that sense from it. You can also know um, what race he is if it's if he's human or not. Oh, oh yeah, if he's human or not. Oh, he's human, like a custodian or whatever they call him. That race. 
He's a custodian. <laughs> not a custodian. Are you what? kidding me? Not, not, not a custodian. What is that? What is that other C one? The one with the purple eyes. I can't remember the damn name. Uh, Cadian. Cadian. Thank you. They're really similar names. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You would know if it was a custodian. He'd be big as you guys. He'd right be... and better in and every better. way. Right. No. 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 Not a custodian. Uh, <laughs> God, he could have wiped out the entire ship by himself without needing to blow it up with the warp. Yeah, right. So he has some warp tangos around him, and he is slightly insane, but otherwise he is normal. Yeah, slightly insane. He's clearly been touched by a warp entity. I, uh, I mean, my, I got a high enough thing to know if it was that warp entity. Um, since I've sensed that warp entity enough, I should know if it's his taint or not. Um, yeah, yeah, yes. Cool. Uh, also, I get more than just. Uh, fear and annoyance out of him, I can read more into those emotions than just surface level what he's feeling. Okay. Uh, so it's more more detailed emotion. Emotion. Uh, and I get three of them, not just two. Okay. Oh, you get th three of them? Okay. Fear, fear, annoyance, and um, another one he's feeling currently right now. Because those are the two biggest ones I could think of he'd have. Um, if a third anger. one might not be important, okay, okay, yeah, anger, I guess, but it's not that important. But yeah, I was gonna say, if, if, it's, if it's not super important, then just gloss over it. But yeah, give me more details now on these uh, these emotions, the two biggest well, ones there. So, the fear he's fearing of something uh, unseen, unknown, you're, you're getting the uh, probably something from the warp you're sensing, um. And, and annoyance, just your mere presence, just just annoys him no end, sickens him almost to the point of being sickened. You specifically. I see. Okay. Um. And what was and what was his response to my question? Oh yeah, he said no. I as I told the other kill team, I didn't see anything on on the trip that was unusual. Uh that was out of place. Didn't talk to anything on the ship that I'm aware of. Would you say that that third emotion, instead of being anger, is actually deception? Is that an emotion? Or, or deceitful? Emotion. Mm, I, I kind of feel like an intent to hide something would be like an emotion. Deceitful is not Like the intent stuff. to not fully tell the truth kind of a thing. Like, I realize we don't have a descriptor of an emotion for that, but I feel like that's something you would feel... Like, I you mean, know, you know, know like, 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 a, like a smugness of getting away with a lie. Right, I understand. There's yeah. no smugness to him. He's just telling you as a matter of fact. So you're not getting that. Uh, the rage, uh, more of like, um, he just wants to, to kill something. That's the, that's that's all you can get. He wants to kill something. You're not quite sure what he wants to kill. But he wants to kill something. Maybe you, but you're not sure. Cool. Um, <clears throat> you seem agitated, Captain. What seems to be bothering you? He, he just looks at you with a blank stare, and he goes, oh, nothing. Nothing bothering me at all. My ship was blown up, so I'm slightly agitated and annoyed by that. But I'm doing all right. I'm doing my duly duties and carrying on. Is there anything else? He's trying to hurry you out. Yes, yes. Uh, there is, in fact. Um, does he have any, like, heavy technology on him or something? He's dressed in standard officer gear. Uh, he has his stuff is tattered, obviously, from the, the battle they experienced. Are you trying to look into his dorm? No, I just want to see, like, on, on his person if he had any, anything, like, technologi uh, technological. Uh, and since he doesn't, and he's still warp-tainted uh, by that entity, uh, that means he's more than just slightly inf or uh, hearing a whisper in his ear because of stuff that's on him. Mm -hmm. I go, well, unfortunately, I've uncovered a uh, nefarious presence in this area. And I'm afraid 
until we figure that out. So I'm going to need you to come with me. You kind of just see a snarl look in his face. All right, then. Uh, and I motion to... Uh, are, are the other... Uh, are the other Space Marines surrounding Dan, me, or am I just talking to him by myself? No, you're with Dan. Uh... Sure, okay. yeah, I would have... Uh, and no, 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 I would have been outside just by the door. He would not have seen me. He would have only seen you enter, but I would have been outside okay. the door. Yeah, I, I was thinking the same. Like, I was with Dan, Dan and just let okay, him know so he was there. Okay, two of you are outside the door. Cool. Excellent. Um, also, any guardsmen you wanted to bring with you on your... Uh, I probably wouldn't have, uh, just for a simple questioning. Um, what he recognizes... That and the three of us... By the way, the three of us should easily be able to handle anything this little fucker can possibly do. Um, <laughs> but as we uh, walk out, I would like to, uh, or as I escort him out the door, I would like to do a civil mic into my little helmet to uh, talk to the other two uh, and go, we'll be escorting him to the interrogation chamber. Mm. He has been touched. Then I reply, see. can we investigate his belongings? Um, since I would have authority on this ship, you would, uh, especially above his. Second only, um, second only to Moth. So, okay, so I'm even above the actual captain of the ship. That's correct. Cool. Um, I would go. Yes, you may search his possessions and recordings. Um. I would like one of you, though, to at least accompany me and him to the interrogation room. I will follow you. I, I, I stop Dan and signal him to investigate the dorm. Yeah, whoever's, better at, no whoever's better at searching shit. Uh, let's behind. see here. Search. I am trained in search. I think we're both trained in search. Are I we? think everyone's trained, I, but it's a perception base, so whoever has a better Perception, I have 46. I have 46. Are, are you really... Yeah, okay. at uh, that point, it, yeah, that level doesn't matter. Then it doesn't matter. Are you relaying this to the throne agent, Moth, or Yelma? Oh, I, I will be. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm dealing with uh, the current people around me first. Okay. Um. Oh well, in that case, I might have the best searching then. Well, as we go to the interrogation room, I would, uh, you know, sub vocal come to you. Um. Oh God, what's your name? I forgot it. Jesus. Brisora. Uh, Brisora. Brisora, that's right. Did we butcher that name? <laughs> Sister Brisora, I have found, I have discovered an individual who may be touched by the entity. I request your presence in an interrogation room, an interrogation cell on deck B. On my way. Yeah, so decks. We we have at least twenty decks. Yeah, you have a <laughs> yeah tempest. The tempest friggin' has multiple decks, dude. This Sorry, your giant... calm was on. I didn't mean to interrupt your thought. Deck sixty six, <laughs> deck sixty seven, deck sixty five, deck sixty seven. <laughs> We're going up. Yeah, but it's deck B, so it's one of the hidden decks. Ah. Oh. Or pull out one no, of those hidden true. toilets and sit on it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this isn't an Inquisitor ship, so of course there's hidden decks. So I, I naturally, mean... the super secret interrogation cells would be on the hidden deck. I'm just laughing right. at the fact that the captain says we have multiple decks. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a Star Trek joke. Right. <laughs> All right, so I stay behind, I presume. I'm going to search the. Dogs. I think Dan and I are searching the room, right? Oh, wait. Sounds like. One of us had to come with. Yeah, I, mean, I requested at least one of you come with me because one of you has. Because y'all have history with it, and that history would be important in this interrogation. I knew he was lying. So, like, technically, I should be the one going because he didn't. Yeah, let's let you go. Perhaps. Yeah. Go with him, and I'll just search. All right, then I accompany you, and I uh, once you leave the dorm and Captain Lucius sees me, I would like to uh, inspect his reaction upon seeing me, I pre as I presume he would recognize me. Probably. I mean, I that uh, power is still active, so 
you can let me know, Thomas, uh, if anything, uh, any new emotions spike when he no. sees him. Other than anger, anger's rising. Uh, I gotta go to the bathroom and be right back. But Moth, I sent you a message. Alrighty. The other, uh, the other emotion is urge to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I am going to grab some coffee then while he's in the bathroom. Uh, also, the fleet has arrived. Oh yeah, also, the Rex is going to join us soon. He overslept. Oops. <laughs> nice. Wait, what? Yeah. Who overslept? Uh, Tesseract. Yes. Uh, at least we're down the ship, so... <clears throat> we apprehended this fucker, finally! Yes! God! Ah, oh, it feels good. Oh my god. Maybe, who knows, we could fuck up our uh, inquiry checks while interrogating him. Who cares? We, uh, <laughs> we can just... Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the logs mean nothing, I guess, to the space marines. We can just... Uh, oh, I mean, if you can find, you know, solid proof and evidence of his, you know, ne'er do well then yeah, we can uh, execute him on, you know, after we're done. Mm -hmm. But... The way this game's gone so far. No one knows. Well, exactly. at the same time, that other officer thrown agent on the planet that was impeding with our progress, you know, even though he was a something of a big, important figure there, that didn't stop his fate from happening. So, yeah. Right, but he was more of an idiot trying to do selfish things rather than. Uh, but he was still having really... repercussions, like technically. Because... Oh, oh yeah, 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 definitely. But we were also on a mission and had a little bit more freedom than uh, just on a ship fucking somebody up for no reason. All right. Okay. Uh... Like so, so we need good proof for this guy. Also, this one is a person of a particular power. Um, so we need evidence on him, like good, solid proof and admission or anything else, mm -hmm. other than just, we don't like the way this human is talking to a space marine, so let's deal with it. Yeah, I relay the information about him doing some weird stuff in the armory on our war barge and him erasing his records and his buddy saying that he was told to keep shut and not talk to anyone about it and so forth and so forth so you're up to date up. All right. now if i remember correctly what captain lucius is the one who was like i don't know this person right right yep yeah okay yeah cool it's like what you but you're good friends other people have said you're good friends i have never seen them in my life you don't right. know the people under you huh mm -hmm. gotcha <laughs> I am back. Oh yeah, by the way, Boko Tess is going to join us soon. He woke up, finally. Sweet! Sweet, sweet, sweet. It's perfect. Um, uh, Moth, I sent you two messages. Yep, pass me through. Okay. So, the Inquisitor tells you he, he's, he expects his arrival to your to your guys' location within, within the next day. He's brought an additional uh, two vessels to the, to the flight. Sweet. Nice. So, you guys have has one from four to six. It's the perfect number to fight an entire armada of chaos possessed Eldar spaceships. Well, it wasn't our. Well, I mean, you don't know how many ships there were. You just know there were ships around the area. So you have no idea the numerical. You told me it was above like 10, more than 12. 10. Yeah, it was more than 12, th 12, but not more than 20. No, it wasn't it was up more to than two. No, 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 no. More than two, less than ten. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Oh, like, what are you talking about? Twelve? <laughs> like, that number? Well, after you said it, it you it's said it's up it. to a dozen. <laughs> so, we're mixing yeah, it's been a week. numbers. It's been yeah, a week. that's true. It's been a week. Yeah, I forgot to. Some things. But no, it's uh, more than two, less than ten. Well, also, it's been a week in, in game, too, so. True. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you were faulting for the week. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys want to make... I can, yeah, so, I'll tell you your ship strength, what it is. Mm. 
Well, he's he's alive. There's a sleeper agent. There you go. Uh, yeah, sorry guys. Either I slept through my alarm or it didn't go off. No, he no worries. And is awake. So the two ships you bring to to the front is uh, a Dominator class and a Gothic class cruiser. Well, I could be wrong, but you should be justified since Boko did say we were delaying till Sunday. No worries. It is yeah, Sunday. I, yeah, I went shooting with a friend yesterday, and I had a, I had a, I was like, well, I have to honor that because you know we made those preparations months ago. So. Yeah. No, 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 no. It is literally Sunday. Yeah, you could have you could have not put the alarm in for Sunday. Yeah, no, I put the I specifically put the alarm in Sunday before I passed out last night. So oh, okay. something fucked up. You put it at PM instead of AM. No, I did yeah. AM, and it even gave me the little toast notification: alarm set for six hours and thirty minutes from now. And then it didn't fucking go off. Oh, darn! It's all good. If y'all had actually oh, played did. yesterday, I would have completely forgotten because I didn't realize it was Saturday. Mm. No worries. Uh, working on a Saturdays messed up my entire time schedule in my head. The important uh, did thing is, I'm here now, and yes, yes. Dan is Dan is dead. recording, right? I am. Ah, oh, okay. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, uh, new game already. Gonna make another new character. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> I haven't even spent my XP on this one. It's too bad you don't get it. Yeah, it's lost now. Oh, I don't care. The whole ship blew up. It was wild. Damn. Again. Again. But yeah, we found Captain Lucius. Is it, because, Lucius... I spanked... Is it no. because I spanked that one uh, Imperial Guardsman he turned into a servitor and fucked everyone over? Yes, uh, we found Captain Actually, Lucius. Actually, no, it was your own character's fault. He turned into the ship. Oh, yeah, that's ah. it. blew it into a sun. <laughs> Uh, so remember that guy who was like, oh, I don't like, uh, who had a uh, subordinate and was like, oh, I did some shady stuff on the computer and then deleted all the logs. Uh, he is back, oh, apparently. Yeah. And uh, we uh -oh. just apprehended him. And uh, Yomak's character is bringing him to the interrogation room. For, for more interrogation, which we failed at last time. Yes. Do I need to spank some people again? <laughs> No. Oh, well. Possibly. <laughs> we don't need you channeling Slanesh energy here, all right? He can't help being Iron Maybe Hands. hack his computer. That would work. Yeah. You should be glad he hasn't pulled out the tentacles yet. When do we know? He is a uh, tech Neil marine. He may yeah. very well have the tentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The tentacles. With the mechanendrites. You guys wouldn't know because it's all underneath my armor. Mm. Oh, no. When True. do we know Neil Tyson tech. wakes up? We don't. So Neil Tyson was uh, sleeping in the reactor room trying to patch it up? <laughs> uh, okay, so I made a drop down for our uh, handout for all you guys for your guys' fleet strength. So, plus your guys' own ship. So, like, you should probably, uh, you guys can buy that too. I think it was a Tempest class. Uh, forget. Mm -hmm. okay. So, Quizzer says, uh, when, when he arrives, we'll, we'll uh, push forward with your guys' plan. <sighs> and, uh, he'll be, he'll be taking direct command of the, uh, the main battle line. What's up? So okay, I'll, I'll start. I start searching, uh, searching his cabin. Okay. Go ahead. Do search. Any modifiers? Mm, minus twenty. Definitely looks like someone just got here, because they just came a day or so prior. So. A lot of stuff strewn out. Uh, as you're going through, you find uh, find radio technology in his room. You find uh, various weapons. 
data pads. Are these weapons belong to the captain or came from the war barge? Uh you're okay. So you can tell that they're just probably standard issue for officers. It's like a pistol, a dagger, and a uh a las rifle. And their radio technologies are also standard issue. Uh, you're not quite sure. Your character isn't not sure. Because when you were searching, it looked like he tried purposely hide that. Hmm. Is that all? Uh, yeah, because it looked like it was hidden in a hurry. So... But it was deliberately hidden from view. Plain view, at least. It's Yogmog's character again. keep forgetting names. It's Heracl cool, I've got my own. Uh, Heracleides. 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 Okay. Heracleides. Can you... Eric. <laughs> Heracleides. I like Eric better. It's much easier. All right, another Grace Tyson. <laughs> I uh, can I uh, talk to Eric Cradies through the radio and say, we, we I found a hidden radio tag in the room. Looks like it was uh, hidden pretty qu uh, quickly when you opened the door. I'm not sure if officers are supposed to have this communications. Well, we did know he was doing some radio communications based on the radio chatter I heard prior. So, right. Yeah. We also heard mm. heard that he was using this uh, a radio, bef uh, and that's when we started investigating this person. Well, I see, I saw well, him. I'm just explaining to this direct. We saw him. Uh, I saw him. I followed him to his chambers, and I heard the radio chatter. And I stayed away. And then I just let everyone know. And then we kind of followed up from there. Okay. And that was radio chatter after the captain had heard that the repairs are finished on the ship. And then he immediately left the uh, the room, uh, the the bridge, and then immediately hopped on radio. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> interesting. Well, while a radio system is not necessarily incriminating evidence, hiding it, very well potential. And it could be. I'll keep this in mind. So, anyone examining the radio? Oh, I exam. Oh, yeah, I call Neil, Neil Tyson. <clears throat> to, mm -hmm. uh, Neil Tyson, I found this radio. Can you investigate? Can you investigate and see if there's any logs on it? <clears throat> I can give it a shot. All right, modifier on that tech use roll then. I'm also minus. assisting. Yeah, minus Assist. 10. All right. It's going to be hard to fail this. And I failed. <laughs> Why uh, did you say it? Why did you say it's going to be hard to I fail? I had to say <laughs> it. Fate point it? Let's fate point it. Uh, yeah, all right. I'll fate point it. Fuck it. Na, 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 na. All right. Try this shit again. It should be plus zero total now. Yes. God oh fucking God. But, you, but you're assisting. That's plus ten. Another plus mm -hmm. ten. No. So uh -huh. that's definitely success. Yeah, you, it's success. Yeah, plus ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know, it's short range radio. Uh, you, you're able to discern no long range capabilities of any kind. It seems to be the two way. Uh. You're also able to discern that it's not on standard military channels. That is a, a radio that's issued by you guys, but it seems to be modified. Also, check out the data pads. Mm -hmm. Yep. And where we that also, signal was going to 
after right. after assisting Neil Tyson, I start investigating the ads. <clears throat> okay. Hopefully, it's not password locked or password it, protected. Oh, it is. Beautiful. I mean, you had to say the words <laughs> to make it so. Oh no, I was going to be anyways. So they're going to be doing tech use and all this stuff. Uh, the password is definitely capital P password, though. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Any uh, uh, minus minus twenty. The uh, and there's about five tests. data pads. Five what, data pads. Be, are you trained or are you advanced in tech use? Oh, I'm I'm pretty far advanced in tech use. In intelligence. Yes. All right. I'll let you. I'll I'll assist. I'll assist in uh, unlocking, and you do the main unlock, uh, unlocking. Yeah. Before you even start uh, test record, as you're analyzing yeah. it, you you already know it's going to take you well over an hour to crack this thing. Brothers, it will take me well over an hour to crack this thing. One, at least one. There's five of these things. Or you can ask the captain for a password. So it is password locked. I recommend you not break the device. Try hacking it instead, but not with an axe with your technological skills. Let's. Hmm. <laughs> the oh, what a captain conundrum. should not know the password to these. They're his data pads. Or. Er... So... Or they're, in, they're, they're, they're in his possession. Captain so, you're, so you're saying we can just ask permission and maybe he'll let us into the data pads? Possible. I mean, that's, I mean, your character would know this guy had these in his possession. He should know the passwords to them. No, and the, he's being the guy we, right now. The guy we captured is a captain. He, like, he, yeah. has, a, he has a position of a Rank captain. captain. But he's no, a ship captain. Like, like never, an army captain. Never mind. It is better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. <laughs> All right. Okay, so... I'm going to attempt right. a hack in the first data pad. Okay. So it's a total modifier on that one. Minus 20. All right. Even with the assist. That's minus 10. Minus 10. Minus 10. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, oh no. My god. <laughs> Jesus wow. Christ, that's a 99. Yeah. So, do you get a you fate are... point it, or do you want me to let's, let's do my fate, thing? I'm fate pointing uh, that one. Uh, you are... 99 I tech use decides to unscrew it. <laughs> open it up physically. You are amazing <laughs> at rolling the highest rolls in this Yes, game. it's true. <laughs> I think it's because of the 3D die you're using. You should just use the. You shouldn't use the animation. I think it's it's screwing over, it's screwing you over. No, all it does is. Uh, I don't know if like the actual physical die, nah. like has nah. anything to do with it, or if nah, it's it just visual. It's just okay. visual. But who knows? Maybe it's implemented differently. Well, that's true. Yeah, that's what I'm that's saying. Very true. I don't know. I think the 3D die does have a touch of physics to it. Yeah, because when it rolls, it, it bounces between stuff and, and finally lands in a number, but... We don't know how they implemented the, the, the system. They could have That's... been stupid and made it completely different than what it should be, which is just a simple animation, but... All right. let's, I mean, let's, it could be so crazy that it, it rolls the number first and then shows you the display of the number getting rolled. No, 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 right. no, no. I yeah, think... yeah, some people do that. Some people might actually make another system. I mean, with programmers, you never know what they do. Here's here's what I think. Here's how I think it works. Because if you don't do the animated die, the little number in the window pops up right away. But if you do the animated dice, like it waits until they stop yes. on a number. Until it does an, 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 the animation. Let's yes. just do a test. Let's just do a test. Test. Turn turn it off. Run it. Yeah, but let's, let's run it for a couple of sessions and see if your uh, okay. unluckiness decreases. Yeah, but you guys are also got to realize that I've had some pretty good rolls too. It's just confirmation bias. Yes, but also just try to had three rolls over 90 in the last three rolls. 
<laughs> you have no, a one of them sorry, was yeah, eighty. One of them was just eighty. All right, eighty-nine. So, uh, that in electronic uh, physics-based dice, though, they never roll really well. They tend to just kind of drop and land like either on the face it was dropped on or like adjacent to what it was on. They never really properly roll to give you a good proper random roll. Dice uh, top of that. Naval 3D dice. Zippity doo da. Just if they implement it differently, we would know. We would see different results. Not really. Assuming assuming the randomness is equally. I think uh, to be honest, I think it's just to test is bad luck, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Well, what if, what if what if bad luck goes away? We'll After see. They disabled we'll see. Well, the only way to know is to do it. Yeah. Guys, guys, listen. It depends on whatever pseudo random algorithm they're using, unless and you have the unluckiest the one. True random, unless the numbers are true random, but they would need or, like, some actual they're... hardware bullshit to do that. Or like I said, Yomak said they're using actual physics engine to roll those. 3D dies. I, I don't know how they implemented it. That's what we're saying. It we could be actually a physical test, but it's we better to actually, listen. Yeah, but if it's pseudo random, then we yes. could actually potentially predict the outcome of the rolls. Yes, yes, if we, knew if we know the correct. seed, but we yeah. don't yep. know the seed. But we don't know the seed. Yep. All right, now, no discussion about rolling the dice. We should just roll the dice. Aha, uh -huh. let's roll the dice again. So it's plus zero total with the assistance and uh, yes. bay point, right? Bay point. Right. Hey! Yeah, that's that's much better! That's what's the honor of. It was off. Alright, well, let's let's run it a few more times. Or, or uh, let's keep it yeah, off don't, don't worry, for don't next worry. few sessions. Yeah, I'll keep it off. Okay, so... Yeah, you will. You're able to get into the data pad, and uh, are you, you're searching through it. Uh, these are definitely not the captain's documentations from the data pad. This seems to be like schematics of ships, schematics of, of bunkers. Uh, looks like ship movement as well, ship logs uh, of the war barge. So that's what you're I'm getting relaying. there. I'm relaying all this information right. as I find out. And it looks like there's also uh, logs of uh, chats. Right? There's mm -hmm. the sender, but no receiver. Right? Yeah. Hmm. So he's sending something to somebody, but you don't see a response. It's like he's talking to somebody, like uh, you're texting someone, but like, all the texts are getting deleted. That's basically what it looks like. He's obviously talking to somebody. Um, well, let's try to use the same password on the other. Yeah, it's safety smart about it. So having well, heard well, this, I will lead him instead of tuning an incantation like chamber. But I'm going to go to one of the ones with uh, the chairs that have the straps, so he can't move once he's <laughs> in it. Okay. Oh, for uh, a second there, I thought you were going to say airlock. <laughs> oh no, no no! We need to interrogate him. We need to interrogate him first. Then we can airlock him. But at what point do I spank him? Is that before or after the airlock? So, so are you are you using the pass the same password that or whatever the hack in the first one to use on another data pad? This is Are you doing that? Well, or are you gonna have? Hack it. I'm going to first ask the GM if during my hack I was able to extract the password or not, because that No, would... it doesn't give you any information on that. It just, you're, you're able to discern, just going through the documentation, this is a technical readout of uh, logistics, supplies, ship movement, uh, some information on that, that, that thing that was destroyed on the surface, the Black Ops thing. The weapon yeah. systems. Okay. Well, that's classified information. Mm hmm. It's on there. Yeah. Yeah. He has not everything, but he has your guys' uh, your chats with the with the captain, Captain Malachius. So I'm I'm curious about one thing. Um, that uh, weapons facility was it destroyed because it fell into orc hands? Would I know that? Like from 
from looking at all this uh, logs and documentation? No, you you can't okay. discern any of that. All right, got it. Um, all and right. If you remember your, uh, what what facility? <laughs> right. What facility? Oh yeah, yeah that's facility. right. What facility? So I know what you're talking after about after reading. So after reading. So when we hacked the first pad, how complex was the password? Or do we know that any information around that? Well, the only uh, thing this... we know is that it took an hour to break into, right? Over an hour. Yeah. So you didn't okay. you didn't necessarily use a password. You didn't brute force any of that. You literally hacked around its security systems to get into the data pad. Data pad's opened up, and you're inside of it now. Gotcha. Yep. So, so no password what... discernible. Brothers, I would have to repeat this process again for each data pad. So you may not be uh, spanking him, but you are using the back door on his pads. <laughs> in through the outdoor. As we're hey, walking, are you doing? As yeah. we're looking down the, I guess, un, un, unmarked decks, I'm just taking a mental note of uh, rooms, quarters, corridors, just general plan of the ship. Sweet. And Moth, what's your character doing now that you get all this new information? Oh, are they keeping me up to date with what's going on? Yeah, I'd assume I assume your second is. We can or... assume that any information relayed is relayed to everyone. We're sharing information to everybody. Yep. Fair enough. Change of uh, interrogation room there, Marissa, sister. Uh, I'm going to one with a strappy chair instead. <laughs> Fair enough. Chamber 68. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Damn it, that's on the other side of the one. ship. No, it's the same one. deck. Just, it's same like a cross... deck, different side of the ship, though. Yes, it's on the left side Starboard instead of the instead right of side. It's just across the hall from the interrogation chambers. It's it's not that far, trust me. I I just did a 180 a from the door I was looking at. <laughs> so technically, Hilarious. yes, it is on the other side of the ship, but it's it's like a six meter difference. Are you Thank sure you. you're going the right way? Right. <laughs> I think you're going and, the uh, left way. Yeah. And Dan, what is your character doing this whole time? Uh, just m taking note of the layout of this deck, just uh, examining the ship. I'm uh, just following uh, Eric. Oh, that's right. You're following. Yeah, Eric Leedy's around. Yeah, I'll be right okay. back. I need to go to the bathroom. And uh, Tesseract, you're going to be doing another data pad hack. Yeah, so I I suppose I'm going to be spending the rest of the session hacking into these data pads. <laughs> yeah, uh, not I'm the rest of the session. I'm also not All right. Well, All right. But so I'll, I'll give you a plus ten, here. plus ten for hacking the first one on your next one, since so you guys lost twenty in total. Mm -hmm. You All can right. theoretically not be able to fail this. He can't fail that, to be honest. Oh he my rolled God. a ninety, and thankfully with the plus twenty, didn't <laughs> fail it. So the second data pad goes into more in detail of that that planet, uh, the the jungle planet that you're on. It's like a total breakdown of the orcs, um, some of the weapon systems that the humans were using. Uh, also, um, mentioning of some deal, right? In okay. some of the chats, he's seen the de data pad. It's kind of the same thing. The sender, no receiver. Perhaps, uh, well, no, that'd be metagaming. I'm not going to go into that. Um, hmm. Brothers, it appears that uh, there's mention of a deal, but I know nothing of the deal. It seems that half of the logs have been removed. There's a sender, but no recipient. Messages. It is clear he is collaborating with something. So perhaps if he is warp tainted, he has made a pact with that entity. 
Something to keep in mind. It is possible. We should stay vigilant. Right. Uh, and the classified uh, material that you're searching through, it's uh, void weaponry. Very ancient stuff, and that weapon system they're talking about. Also dealing with warp stuff. Mentions of that a lot. There's a lot of information about the warp. What kind of information? Yeah, that weapons facility goes into de it kind of breaks into detail, like the weapons they're experimenting with. Okay. So like, like, uh, black hole cannons type of weapon systems, uh, void weaponry to like launch, uh, things to the void or yeah, through the warp to hit hit targets, right? Uh, stuff like that. Stuff to destroy planets from a distance. Bringing back Dark Age technology. Mm -hmm. Correct. Because warp missiles and bombs and stuff were a thing in the Dark Age. Yep. Oh, yeah. So, this might so... be heresy were it not for the Inquisitor. Correct. But that is, but that is above our pay grade. We shall <laughs> not divulge into that any deeper. You get paid? Yes, with uh, with uh, Emperor Funny Money. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, at least like he some. didn't say guardsman's butts. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I have a concerning obsession with that, don't I? <laughs> yeah. that, data pad number two. All right. Uh, is it still plus twenty total with dude assisting? Yes. Yeah. 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 All the way through. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. motherfucking shit. Can, can we say that, like, we got this half an hour? <laughs> so that, that next data pad, you're able to well, experience the other ones. You got this one pr pretty nailed. You and you're actually able to... Yeah, I didn't leave it unlocked. He just was able to crack it much easier than the other ones. This time and... it was one, two, three, four, five. Right, <laughs> sure. Might as well have been... Uh, so you actually do get the recipient this time uh, from this one. You get a name. Name you haven't heard of before. Uh, some. You Is get... it a name that I can pronounce without, um, without doing some kind of fucking forbidden Xeno lore knowledge of languages thing? No. That's the name you get. Yatara. Watara. Brothers, I found the name of the of the uh recipient. It is this Yatarya. Does that tell you anything, brother Eurycletes? No. Yeetara! <laughs> or no. Yeetara. Ye yeah, Yeetara. <laughs> no. Well, that's the name you get. Um, as they say in the Death Watch, uh, Yeet. So on this one, you actually get, like, uh, locations of uh, Imperial Worlds. Um, you get what seems to be um, navigation to, to Terra itself. Uh... Like a backways uh, to there, we find very interesting. Um, we should bring this pad to navigation to see if any of this is public or private data, or previously mm -hmm. unknown. So this one's all, yeah, uh, mostly navigation. Yes, there are many nav coordinates. Uh, I I like your I like the way you think, brother. Right, Perhaps and you get uh, the bottom of this. And in this one, the captain is just. Relaying uh, everywhere you guys have been, basically to the Shitara. Uh -oh. It seems that our position has been compromised in some well, way. That changes a few things, then. But you know these things aren't long range, so 
you, you're unsure if this information has got up beyond what was in his possession. But right, you do no. know he's been tracking your guys' movements. Then I'm going to open up a comm to the uh, the Inquisitor and let him know. Okay. Our position's compromised. We had a spy on board. We could probably we should uh in, uh investigate other crew members from the war barge. If that's the case. Who was the spy? Yeepara. Was it Captain Lucius, perhaps? <laughs> He was informed beforehand by us that he was a suspect. Mm -hmm. Is this a secure connection? Yeah, it's only between you and uh, <laughs> you and uh, unless you're relaying this information to them off. It's just faster to me to type it to general than hit W each time to you. Um, I know, but my character wrote the reports of what happened to the Space Marines, so instant okay, no, 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 no. There's there's no secure connection because right. uh, it it uh, millennia ago end to end encryption was abolished by stupid Earth politicians. Wait, so none of our communications been encrypted? No, I'm <laughs> just joking. Okay, because it must have been France who banned those encryption. <clears throat> yeah, they weren't in French, so they had to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that is a true story. Uh, French. Has it is. It is. They more... banned any non-French words in their in any political works, uh, such as laws or anything else. They cannot have any non-French terms. Italy's thinking of doing the same thing. They also lowered the encryption to AES one twenty eight instead of latest greatest two fifty six or five one two. Oh, okay, that I didn't know. Why? So they literally weakened the security. Why? On purpose. Probably to include more things because if you keep having to update, it's more money to have to constantly update systems. So they're probably trying to do it to save money, not updating. Oh, God. Maybe. You have a point there. Uh, I was, from my impression, it was always more of so the French can listen in or hack, hack people's communication. Goddamn French. French haven't really been known for their spies in the modern era, so I don't know how accurate that one would be. Well, look at the movies. Their, their treasuries are keep getting stolen. I'm aware of Captain Lucius. I've been having my agents trailing him. Uh, what have you discovered, Pesora? Oh. You know, stuff. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I, I don't know if I should just go off saying everything we know or so you do to know the to see if that, this connection is secured. I was going to say, you do know that the warp entity is connected to technology. Yes. And I know this and I know that I'm now trying to contact somebody through technology about the warp entity. So, uh, before I answer, I'm going to hurry over to uh, Eric Cleides. <laughs> One K. Eric Cleides, not Eric Cleides. Iraq, maybe. Instead. Yes, I'll send a message. One moment, sir. Securing right. connection. Sorry, I'm going through a tunnel. You'll have to we'll have to talk again later. <laughs> In space. <laughs> no, no, celestial body is intercepting the connection. Right. It's in between your your connection. So Eric Clades, you're helping the moon. It's in a moon eclipse. Right, so Eric Eric Clades, you're uh helping him. It would probably be best. To relay important information in person and not over a radio com, knowing the entity. How about over psychic connection? You guys have that ability to do that. Oh no, no, God, not again! Not <laughs> everyone can psychically communicate. Also, communicating over a distance of that nature requires an astropath 
not just run to the mill psycho. So wait, you wait. have to be specifically trained for long distance communication. And observe something at distance, but you can't send a message. That could literally kill my people just to give a tiny information. I don't care about that. We <laughs> could be, our position could be compromised. One How about we take it to the ship's astropath, who is literally trained as an Inquisitor agent to send secret information to other trained Inquisitor agents? We have Let's one of those that. astral things. Yes. And he's on the he's on the ship just uh, always navigating for you guys. So finding plot. Also, our little ritual was to help boost his ability to sense the entity, not our own stuff. Look, That's I what kill psychers. I don't know how you work your stuff, okay? Okay. So you guys are asking Astropath to secure message to him? Yes. Okay. So yes, he it, you get the same message that you uh he's relaying to the Alright. Then I go off and say everything we've discovered. Okay. Uh, so he tells you to... Oh, that was a good, good argument. <laughs> good frustration. <laughs> As I said, every time someone says, hey, quickly relay this to this person, I just use my comms because that's all I have. Secure the data pads and save them for my arrival. Roger, Roger. So would we you be also have the tech uh, all the three? to do that? Secure the data pads. That's for yep. the captain. Execute him immediately. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, and I pulled a uh, test. Do you want to do some uh, beating? You know, oh, no. Some? I walk down there and I shoot him in the head myself this oh. time. Okay. No, no, no. Because this is uh, Moth's character. For all we know, he could not be relaying all this to us. I would have been in the interrogation room, uh, strapping him down further, tightening him. Now, this may sting a bit. It's going to sting a lot, actually, as I tight, <laughs> super tighten it. And, I, and this part may hurt a little bit more than it should, but, you know, we need to be uh, careful in all situations. And I'm standing oh, in the uh, corner. Observing you're the doing whole, okay, right? <laughs> the whole situation unfolding, just standing in the corner. Now, if you have and any information way, you'd like to share, now her. might be a good idea. Uh, as I just keep super tightening things beyond possibility. Bones are breaking while this is happening. Oh my god. Oh jeez. So you're doing all this before Moss character comes down to I, I, I radio yes. down ahead of me saying, <laughs> get everything you can out of him. When I get there, he's dead. And then I slowly start walking across the ship. Okay. It's just singing hems. I would like to roll for, I guess... Interrogation? Interrogation? I don't have interrogation trained, but I do have intimidate. Okay. Uh, as he's doing this and crushing bones and whatnot, uh, plus 10. Oh, I, nice. I, 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 I walk over to the captain and I lean over just this. If you look from the side, it's like a huge discrepancy between our sizes. Uh, and uh, I tell him, you better tell us what you know before you can't do that anymore. Right. So the Yatara is another, um, more or less an officer, but that's not his actual real name. So, uh, he kind of tells you he's on board the ship somewhere. He's not in the quarters per se. So, so he's all planning... on board this ship. Yes, they're flying to, to to sabotage the ship. How many more are there? Uh, do another roll. Uh, same plus ten. Oh yeah. And Eric, Lays, you're helping them. Well, of course, I keep tightening those straps. Uh, that's okay. uh, that's the yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> and, uh, and, tells... and no spanking is necessary. This right. time. <laughs> right, I tell you, in this ship, there's at least six. Six potential spies. Not and potential. more. And he says, as, and more as we grow. As you grow. Why? He says we, 
He says we specifically. Why would you do that? He kind of gives you a blank stare. I uh, pick up his. Oh, I guess I pick up one of his strapped fingers and I uh, pull it up. Strip it off. And just rip it off. not not rip it. I'm just breaking it slowly, and then like I'm just slowly lifting it until it's broken, and then I kind of like pull it off as it's parts nice. of sinew and bone and like skin are also turned off. He just eerily stares at you blankly. Blank? So he doesn't even flinch. No. He was not screaming from all the bones. He was. He, he was initially. Init initially. Initially, he was, and now he's just staring at you blankly now. Something's not right here. Heraclitus, can you determine Can you uh, if something is... My reading's still on yeah. over him, so I can, you know, still sense any, any his strongest emotions and whatnot. But what is his strongest pure, emotion, then? Just pure rage. Pure rage. And hatred. Pure rage and hatred. You don't sense anything psychic. It's just pure rage and hatred, <laughs> and a and an aha moment. Aha moment, basically from him. For her, like for he, him, like he just got a revelation. Uh huh. Okay. Like something was right. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Eric, please, you do know that he's in. Immense pain, so he's not like uh, faking it. He is in immense pain. He's just holding yeah, his, it. His back rage is overriding it, right? That's correct. Oh, okay. So he, okay, all right. Uh, okay. Hmm. Do you have any questions to ask him? I don't believe any questions are worth asking anymore. We won't be getting much more out of this one. I pull off a pinky just for maybe, fun. Maybe, maybe just at, let him ask a qu few questions. See if his rage opens up something. Let him ask us questions. Oh, yeah. Let me ask you again. What are you agitated about, Captain? He just kind of like leans in as much as he can with as movement as he can, looks directly in your Which eyes. Which is less than a micrometer. Right. <laughs> Right, I understand. Like he's leaning his head or whatever he can do. Yeah, he's he straightening at his restraints. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and he's he's looking straight at you with his eyes, bl black as they can be, and he says, "You." That's all you get from him. You? Oh, oh, he's oh. oh. Yeah, to his character, you. No, it's how Harris. so in particular, Captain. As I pull off the other pinky. Oh my jeez. He has no pinkies left. So, are you trying he's to... Try, he's yeah, he's, so, right, so are you still trying to fish information out of him? Intimidate? Another word for another intimidate, I guess? From you, uh, Eric Ladies? From, uh, from me, yeah. Uh, what's my bonus? 10 still? Yeah. Uh, like yep. Plus 10. An additional one from me, I guess. And he just says, you and your kind. Librarians. Or librarians, isn't it? Could be. My kind as in space marine, as Adeptus Astartes, or as a librarian. So since you're still reading him, you can sense that just, just Adeptus Astartes, right? You can get that over and over and over, like just chanting through your head from him. Mm. Ah, the Astartes themselves. Is it fear that you experience? Is that why we agitate you? Because you're so afraid? I step in. Is you... it because the Adeptus Astartes have done something to you or your family? or Perhaps. Or the oh, ones you know. I love how you guys rip his fingers off and it's happy go time. Let's have a therapy <laughs> session. <laughs> You know, what's, what's causing you issues? Why don't you tell us about that? Yeah. As I rip off uh, the other finger uh, that... Um, 
Why do you hate us so he, much? He didn't re- let, on the other hand, to make his fingers symmetric, his hands symmetrical. Right. I don't understand why you hate us so much. I don't yeah. understand. Yeah, you gotta keep you gotta keep order, you know, and symmetry. Mm-hmm. Just making you look pretty from the cap, uh, injuries you suffered. Uh, so it's not fear of you guys. It's fear of of that more of the entities. What you're sensing, Yelmug, rage towards you guys, like an aha, like this thing was right about you guys. That's what you're sensing. Oh, so and the he force was the entity. And he he doesn't say anything to you, Dan. He just uh, he just looks at you, cold hearted. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and he thinks to himself, see. thinks to himself. He could, well, uh, Yelmuk's character would know. He's thinking to himself, "This guy's an idiot." No, I'm just having fun with you as I slap him and break his jaw. <laughs> oh, he's probably dead now. I don't know. I don't know. Like, like fractured his jaw. Like a light love tap to just fracture his jaw. Well, isn't there? Isn't there like enough pain where you just just die after you lose all hope, like all the will to keep alive? Well, I'm assuming. I'm assuming yeah, his rage is keeping can him keep alive. you alive a while. Yeah, I'm assuming Moss can come down and finish the job like he said he was. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're I'm, just, I'm about halfway there. We're we're holding off until he gets here, basically. But there's not. I just need to go over the comms. You know, maybe he can pick up the pace. He's not going to last much longer. Yeah, you he's know. bleeding profusely a lot. Um, I lean I may over. Have broken the femur. By I guess uh, I lean over again and I say, "You know, you're no better than us. One of your kind has caused an incredible amount of havoc, which cost the lives of many." So, what makes your hate justified against us? And uh, Erica, you told him that he's feeling all this, right? No. Oh, okay. Because uh, Dan, to your character, he just uh, appears very stoic and uh, not hateful. To to Eric Cleides, He's sensing all this stuff. Oh, he didn't uh, tell us about the hatred against the Sardis. Uh, or did, did... Well, I mean, from from what I've been saying, okay, just like, that's, get that him makes... back and forth, you could probably... Yeah, yeah that's yeah, why, yeah, yeah. That's why I said that. Yeah, yeah, that's why cool. I said yeah. that. Making sure, making sure we're not... All right. Um, he just gives you a blank stare. <laughs> and and, and Yelmug, your character gets... Uh, just reading it, uh, it was right. It was right. It's just forcing through his head and feeling his rage. There's no more we can get from this one. His mind is gone now. I let him yep. be and I walk away. AFK for a minute. He's a dead man anyway. Indeed, brother. Indeed. And then I just wait patiently for uh, the sister to come in and officially execute the heretic. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I finally get there then. Oh yeah. I, I re- just wait for your arrival. I relay to the rest of my kill team that there is there are six potential and more uh, spies aboard the ship. Oh wait, no, wait. Uh, was that in the documents or did that? Did no, he said he, said he told us that. He told us. Okay, he told he us that. Yeah. So yeah, 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 yeah. And and once uh, the sister executes him, I'll also relay that information to her. Mm-hmm. I I walk in the door, pull out my metal pistol, shoot him in the head. That will mean those. No, I was hoping for more drama, but <laughs> I suppose that <laughs> quick and easy also works. Anyway, there's more on board. At least six others. Right, and dude, That's you're saying not good. No, not particularly. Those six came from the Thunderhawk, then. If he was telling the truth, that is. He... I, I didn't feel any deception from him, did I, when he was saying all that? Uh... Discernment? Roll discernment? No, no, I, I had, uh... Oh, reading. Uh, reading no. Up. No, no, no. No deception. No, Very no. I believe... I sense no deception from him when he was stating those particular facts. Fair enough. We 
we may want okay. to burn incinerate the room you know so as we I shoot his body I, a few I, more times I, I, to melt the pistol to get rid of it I mean, no I meant like an actual cleansing just get out of the room and I'll hit the incinerate button on the way out <laughs> That's fair enough you would have stuff like that aboard the vessel yeah yeah you know standard inquisition cleansing <laughs> So those six will probably came from the Thunderhawk. Or more. Those six came from the war barge that was destroyed. Most likely. So we need to so, list through the, every single officer that came aboard this ship from war barge. Even Marines. It can it can be Marines as well. It could also be people on board the ship. He's been here a week. Yeah, and he did say it was growing. That the numbers were growing, so... He also said he was going to sabotage the ship, did he not? Yes, mm -hmm. he did. He, he did say he was going to sabotage it. Okay. Then, then we I guess let... I radio the ship's captain to have him put extra guards around the reactor and the engines. And let and our tech marine searched check thoroughly for sabotage. Yeah. Also, just have him, you know, have Especially a security detail round up... Recently. And, and have him have a, a security detail just round up... Everyone that was from the previous war barge. Yes, also that. That would include us, though. It would. Dun, dun, yeah. dun. So it's going to take... <laughs> yeah, it's going to take them about two hours to round them all up. Uh, we're, and he asked... Uh, Captain asked... Where you want resist, to shoot them immediately. Right, and, and they asked... their body out in an airlock or burn it. Right, and they asked where you want them to... Including, put them. including the kill team? I mean, y'all should be there. Kill team's getting radioed immediately to assemble. I mean, so, so the hangar, I, or else, like the hangar, where you guys assembling? We did clear the kill team of suspicion, at least of immediate taint, when we got back, or when you boarded the first time. Mm -hmm. But it's always a good idea, just to, you know. Still, if a fight breaks out, I'd like to have the kill team there anyway. Be so sure, after all. Race. Yeah, yeah, that too. But we did also come back from a warp infested ship, so. And while I didn't sense anything immediately when we got back, it's, you know, better safe to be safe than sorry. Right, and your guys' teams did the same thing with the people coming on board. So they didn't Protect sense any warp thing. A little slim right, so whatever this thing is doing is it's literally just convincing people to join its side. More or less. And somehow still talking to these guys. So. It means there's yeah, still like that, tank then. Well, that uh, communicator definitely needs to be purged. After all, it had unique modifications to it, so smells like warp taint to me. <laughs> that would also mean that we can um, search at everyone's belongings and see if there's anything modified and remove it. We still have two data pads left and cracked as well. Well, that took two more hours. So if the gathering took two hours, that means we can do two more pads, maybe three. Yep, the captain... Uh, Moth, you, you know the captain's gonna be there within the next four hours now. All right. Since Tess is gone for now, let's um. No, I'm one. I'm back. Oh, you're back. Yeah. I said I was back, but you guys are just in the middle of shit, so it's okay. Anyway, let's let's take saying. care of the rest of the pads. All right. Okay, I'm you get character and... for two. There's three more. Go ahead and roll tech use. Oh yeah, three. Plus 20 total? Oh, yeah. All right. I, mean, 30, I thought he cracked three of them. Did yeah, he? There was five. Yeah. Okay. Then there's two Another, left. Like five? Yeah. Yeah, there's two left then. Gotten the first one and gotten the second one. See? Sweet. It's the look at those dice. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But but remember, this, can be, this is statistical, so still... Needs testing. Don't Still care. Going through don't care. This is, don't, this, this is proof enough. Uh, still confirmation bias. Yes. I digress. Oh, Let's move on. Yep. The fourth one is a technical readout of uh, not only that war barge, but other war barges uh, and uh, potential contacts, too, on, on that fourth one. Uh, more details of that base down below. Um, I forget who that guy that guy's name was down below that wanted to be out so bad. Uh, he was one of their guys. Oh. 
Right. So he's one of their contacts. Um, Explains his fearlessness. So beyond the war barge. Yeah. This is a uh, rebellion I'm sensing. Uh, Tesseract is able to discern that it is a spy network of some sort. Yeah. So I'm relaying this to, uh, I suppose, everybody, but especially Moth's character. Because he has a direct line to the Inquisitor. And then the fifth data pad is um, it looks like names of armies and, and where they're stationed and uh, also uh, like they've in, been tracking the Death Watch's movements too somehow. Like Imperial Guardsmen regiments? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, their bases and whatnot. Just like the uh, technical readouts of their bases. And technical readouts of Death Watch, uh, a, te a technical loadout of a Death Watch like watchtower. No comms in these last two, but it looks like they're planning something. Oh, that's bad. What? Where is that radio tower? The watchtower? Yeah, the watchtower. It's a. It's a giant mobile station, that, like Death Watch. You know they have bases like that. Mm -hmm. So it's a giant asteroid uh, flotilla type thing that goes through and does missions, kind of like you guys do. Is that in range of these small communication? Uh, oh, no, that's just ship bound. All the stuff is ship bound, localized, like within the system that the radios can reach out. Nothing beyond that range. But that particular watchtower is in another completely different solar system. And it would take you about a, a month or two to get out there. And they are currently dealing with um, that high fleet you guys encountered that took over from you guys. Hmm. Hmm. way to send a message to them to warn them astropaths well, yeah no astropaths. let's let's we will not know if the spy not uh, if so the thing about spies is <clears throat> at least in the re uh, real world from what i know if they lose communication they can tell that things are compromised if we send a message that message can be encoded in any kind of way if we don't know what they send they can immediately tell that message is a compromised message. <clears throat> so we're since since the spy is already dead, we're kind of already screwed in both fronts. If we send a message or leave it be. No, we're well, sending a message be from astropath to astropath. So yeah. it's not really interceptable. Yeah. And since they have current plans and defenses of the station, if we board the station, they can take measures to change those. Which will change the spy's plans. Yes. And at the very least, to delay their attack. That we can do. <clears throat> Was there any spy equipment in these pads, like a one time password pads? Or one time, what was it called? One time ciphers? You're talking about the data pads? No, nothing like that. It's all seems to be collecting of data, all, all, all these data okay. pads. Collecting of data and uh, sending messages to one another through one, some of these pads. So, and also, uh, since you guys have been working on it thoroughly all day, you do notice that these data pads are not technically standard issue. These are also modified like those communication devices. You're not quite sure what technology is what it is either. It doesn't look uh, te uh, human. It's a radical answer it is. Mm-hmm. Are there perhaps librarians or 
scholars or, or someone who would perhaps identify what type of tech that is, if it's Xenos in nature or some something else on the, Actually, aboard this ship. Actually, the tech would know. The you know, Tyson would understand if it's alien in nature. Yeah. Well, possibly. I'd have to do Forbidden Xenos lore. Or okay, Adeptus Mechanicus lore. Whatever the GM decides. Uh, Adeptus Xenos or Adeptus Mechanicus? You can do Adeptus Mechanicus and Xenos lore. You can do both if you want to. And analyze it with uh, each. Sure. So let's start with the Adeptus Mechanicus. Modifier? Uh, plus 20. All right. So I'll do that. Uh, so it is very, very, very uh, higher tech than standard issue stuff. Uh, so whoever these guys were, were well funded uh, and access to technology uh, beyond their means. In the Warhammer, uh, is there a rebellion lore? All the time. There's re rebellions all the time. Yeah. That's the yep. Space Marines go there and squash them. Yeah. But this ain't... This doesn't seem like a rebellion type thing. It seems like it's coll collecting data for something. This is um, more of an intrigue situation than rebellion. Is there it, a it, it appears that way anyway. So I'm going to... You're asking if there's a current rebellion? Mm -hmm. Who are you asking? Are you, Eric Lady? Do I know? Like, do I know that there's current rebellion in the news huh. or... Based on the information presented. Oh, well, first off, oh. that would never be in the news. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> ever. Oh, that's true. Uh, Everything's yeah. fine. Nothing bad it ever happens to humans. Mm -hmm. We're the best ever. Mm -hmm. Exactly. China balloons. Okay. Yeah, the, the news in uh, in the 40K is uh, tighter than Russians. Mm -hmm. Tighter than Russians' news networks. Gotcha. Um, well, as far as you're news North, I'd say tighter than North Korea. Right. As oh, far yeah, as you know, absolutely tighter than North Korea's news networks. Yes. So as far as you're, uh, as far as you know, dude, there's no one with that information privy of any kind of rebellions that you know of. Now, small. Space Marines would know more, but that's more of a local to where their chapters are responsible for. Right. But then that would just be on a per chapter basis. So not every chapter would know of other chapters' rebellions, kind of a thing. Gotcha. Right, so you know no rebellion, and Moth, your characters know no rebellion. Same with you, Eric, ladies. You have no known rebellion in the area, so the fact there is a spy network uh, concerns you, Moth, for sure. And then you... Ugh. <sighs> Another day at work, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> so the Inquisitor has arrived. You see his uh, new flagship, the Black Death. Anyways, he's a Dominator class cruiser. He's uh, hailing you. He says, uh, I'll be boarding you shortly. Wait. Wasn't he like a day away? Aren't we still gathering all the people in the hangar base? It's been a day, hasn't it? Oh, we'll do that then, that, I guess. Yeah, yeah let's do he, that. We're, we're, we're all gathered. That's the next thing. Okay, we'll do that. So you guys are all gathered. Gathered all personnel from the previous ship. It's about mm, 100 individuals. How many other Space Marines are there, if any? Amongst Eric them? Lady's kill team. Oh. And, and you guys, it's just you. You're the only surviving Space Marines. Like the, I, the I, I think he means in the hangar with us right now. Oh. I think I probably would have also brought my my kill team, uh, just to have a thorough inspection of warp tank, so we can more easily identify who is and isn't uh, actually tainted. You know. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do a sign of science test. Any any modifiers for this? Uh, pl plus 10 with your entire group. Now it'll take you about uh, roughly an hour to s search all 100 individuals. Oh my god. F last fate point. And let's let the next session be the attempt. <laughs> Jesus. 
You can have mine. I'll throw you a fate point. Oh, sure. You can have his first. Better. Yay. Much better. Okay. Hey, 69. Nice. Uh, so your entire kill team goes through no war paint making sense of any kind on these individuals other than like the subtlety that you felt before on the on the group entirely. <clears throat> right, both an entire crew of uh an entire kill team of librarians. We can't narrow that down more than just this entire group has an aura of warp tank. Well, they were on the ship previously. That's the only thing you can discern that they were on the ship previously. Therefore, they would have some warp taint. Therefore, uh, that's to be understandable. So, these individuals are no different than uh, the other the uh, the kill team that came aboard your vessel. Right, but their warp taint was their equipment, not them them personally. Themselves. Right. So. If none of these people are, you know, have heavy technological things, after all, a flak jacket is not is not a technological right. marvel. Um, That's correct. Uh, so then, anyone who doesn't have technology on them should also not have warp taint on them, right? Unless they've been influenced by said warp, right? And you're getting subtle hints, like. Uh... Like something's trying to talk to the, some of these individuals. Cool. So That's... with a six degrees of success, almost seven, can yeah. I narrow down those individuals? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's about uh, at least 20% or more of these individuals have been uh, spoken to, at least. It's so subtle, but like... Your your crew determined there's like they haven't been corrupted in any way. It's just like something made attempts on them. <clears throat> if that makes sense. Cool. Uh, I would like to segregate them out. Okay. Um. Even the ones that are lightly touched, to okay. you know, compared to uh, like attempt was clearly made, but and then the ones that are more heavily influenced by it, or at least have a heavier mark on them. I want all of those on one side and all the ones that I don't sense any of that on the other. So I guess 80% of the crew on one side and 20%. So 20 on guys other. on one. Yeah, 20, 20 people in one area and the rest on the other. All what right. Is this an 80 20 rule? <laughs> There's all right. always, always oh, an 80 20 rule. Ziflon hits again. It is everywhere, it is ever present, that rule. And I turn to uh, the sister. This, these are the ones that we've detected that have been touched. To what degree we're uncertain, but they have been at least attempted to be influenced. All right, then. The others, for the most part, seem untouched, untainted. No attempts have been made on them. Good. I am going to try something weird. Hey, be careful of heresy, sister. Like, this safe, is safe literally game state, safe game state. <laughs> I recommend not spanking each of them. No, no. This, this is this is the emperor's light calling calling in something here. Again, I'm going to use a fake spank. talent called Repel Demon. Oh. Ooh. It uh, faithful makes a prayer of warding and a powerful gesture against all warp spawn in their presence. While well, in effect, any creature of the warp, such as a demon, must win an opposed willpower test to approach the faithful closer than three times the willpower bonus in meters, which is fifteen meters. Should the creature pass the opposed test, it must win a second to touch the faithful. Um, creatures that are within the radius when the abilities have activated and fail the willpower test are immediately pushed to a distance of three times the willpower bonus of the faithful. So Please. this ability only repels demons from the faithful, not any allies. So it would only uh, 
be in effect on me. So essentially, I'm just going to have them stand around me in a circle and then do this. All right, sounds good. And uh, as you do that, um, that subtlety you were getting before Yelma uh, dissipates. So whatever was trying to influence them wasn't very, wasn't trying its its earnest. But you can definitely tell it's that entity you dealt with before. So I, I uh, feel its presence gone now. Yeah, it's subtle, subtle presence. Like it was starting off, whatever it was trying to do, it was starting off very subtle, very small, like trying yeah. to go, like, like it was trying to go under your guys' radar. But since they're all grouped together, it kind of made it more apparent that I was doing something. So, gotcha. Seems whatever you're doing, sister, is working. I no longer sense that entity's taint upon these individuals. Fantastic. The Emperor protects. Indeed he does. So you zero feel zero subtleties. Yeah. Nothing. You don't feel nothing no more. Yeah. Even on the 80%. I... Right. Yeah, speaking yeah. of that, I'm going to walk between the 80% then. Just, just, just to make sure. Right. So, yeah. Uh, Yo, my gear character... Uh, can discern from that that this thing is trying to be so subtle, go, like an individual go underneath your radar. So it'd give you some concern. Cool. Like I was doing before on the ship. So yeah, it's yeah, subtle like, until it's not. So I must admit, sister, it is difficult to sense its presence unless it's multiple of them have been gathered, such as now. I'm afraid that if just one individual were by themselves, I may not be able to sense the corruption upon them. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we want the we want to do something similar to the entire crew. Since the since they say they were spreading uh, on the conversation or persuasion, maybe we want to see if other crew members were affected beyond this. Oh, and we respect. also definitely want to interrogate all of them, not just do the whole mystical mumbo jumbo shit. But, oh yeah, you know. no, this was this was just a starter. Will this be uh, delayed one more day? Then do we need to spend more time? It's going to take days before the Inquisitor arrives. Yeah, it's going to take you probably a day to interrogate all 100 individuals. So you're trying to narrow down like who they spoke to, who came aboard the vessel. Uh, you guys are double checking your logs and everything too. Well, I'm thinking about the other crew members as well. Oh yeah, yeah, we we do need to investigate everyone. So, uh, but yeah, mostly the ones that have been in contact with the captain himself specifically, and these individuals that were tainted, right? At least so, noticeably tainted. Right. Uh, Eric, please, you know your character would know that your crew is resistant to this type of thing since you guys deal with it so often uh but not immune so of course no one's immune right they're more or resistant <laughs> more resistant than normal individuals at least two or three times more resistant than an individual well uh, we are trained yeah, specifically not... to resist it and not to corrupt our own minds and give in to the influences after all we're librarians Right, and the, yeah, the, I mean, the, the humans are nowhere near as resistant as the Elmox characters, but, um, you know, they kind of, they would kind of expect this type of thing, so they would have protocols in place. But this thing flies under the radar, so, and that's what spooks Eric Lady's, uh character a bit. Is one of the protocols to do a check, a psychic check, after yeah. every battle, after every psychic backup battle? Yeah. Uh, with warp entities, yeah. Purity of Faith is definitely tested uh, when dealing with, after dealing with any encounter with uh, Chaos. And, and Eric Clay's team and ship is the best in this sector, so... I will also state, as Eric, ladies, 
I will also say that uh, purging the entity of existence should hopefully also lift any taint it may have placed upon any individual. So cleansing him from exist it from existence should, at the that very least, true. Prevent However, further corruption of minds. It won't prevent any bombs planted from not going off. Or sabotage from existing. Absolutely true. I'm just stating. It's also possible. We are in a time crunch, so there's only so much we yes. can do in so much time. I just don't want my ship blowing up when we go to fight it. It's also well, no possible problem. that the warp entity will try again with these people. Is there anything I can assist with? Are you asking uh, Yamuk's character? Yes. Perhaps our uh, entire kill team can assist with. Best to uh, track down anyone the captain may have been in contact with. That is a priority. Then I'll get to it. I'd like the uh, tech marine to start looking for sabotage signs. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. So would that? Be I would keep a lookout for slightly modified equipment. It seems to be their forte, rather than just an obviously placed bomb or explosive. You may be on to uh, yeah. something, brother. These, these are uh, as much as I hate to say it. These traitors have a wit about them. Then I have a, a sudden realization. Quick, check the check the patches we just made to the reactor. Yeah, I already had the captain set crews to guard them and search them for sabotage. All right, the captain as well as back. any other part that's been repaired and the engines. All right, and the captain reports back to you. They did find uh, some explosives planted around the reactor. They dealt with it. They're uh, bomb crews, and uh, let's see. And while you're investigating who the captain spoke to, investigate who the engineering crew spoke to. So, yeah, one of the bombs went off, killed a bunch of guardsmen, and disabled one of the uh, the coolers for your guys' reactor. So, it's a little less stable than before. It would take well, them about... Seems... <laughs> it seems we're going to be unstable, here David? repairing our ship just a touch longer. <laughs> it's taking about a week to repair it, but he says we're still operational enough to do the mission. It's just going to be a little more dicier coming in. So I'm going to attempt to track down uh, anyone who might have had contact with Captain Lucius and uh, hmm. any modifiers on that. Here's another question Who would know, would the crew know when we're going to depart to the warp entity? No one knows because we don't know. Well, when the captain, when the Inquisitor arrives the next day, that's when he said you guys will make your attack. Ideally, but no one should know that the Inquisitor is coming. Other than Moth's character, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, plus ten, Dan, to your role. I'm assuming you're checking logs, interrogating people, along with the rest of the other kill team. And the Inquisitors mm -hmm. on board. Oh, yeah. Not Inquisitors. Uh, um, what do you call them? Interrogators. Just They have interrogators with you guys as well. What skill? That's I'm using tracking for that, which is an advanced skill. Everyone has that. I, I presume that's, that's, the, that's the one that I should be using. Since I'm trying to track down uh, essentially people. Yeah, there's six of them. I succeed. Okay, uh, so going through logs interrogation, you know there was one officer that was missing from the group that was so, supposed to be here. Can when I those bombs went off? Can I check uh, upon his whereabouts, where his uh, quarters are, and all that information? Yeah. Find him yeah. and murder him. 
I'll do a separate check. 66. Yes. I'll do a separate check as well. And, uh, Moth, what is your character doing the whole time as well? And Tessarch, what are you guys doing? I'm just going to be checking, making sure that our kill team is secure and this is secure and we, uh, I'm going to be weeding out, I guess, saboteurs by checking all the, uh, technologically oriented equipment. What are you going to check first? Um... You can check the engine I more, know. armory. I you mean, check, yeah, uh, I guess. Anger. I'm going to start with the most critical systems and then work my way down from there. So. All right, give me three rolls. All right. Tech use. Yeah, plus 10. Modifier, plus 10. All right. So you find, uh, you definitely find a bomb in the armory. Active. All right. As, Brothers, there's as, a bomb in the armory. And then, uh... Well, I suggest see. you disarm it, then. <laughs> said, said three rolls, right? Do you have demolitions? Can you disarm that thing, Tesseract? I, I, he has let's demolitions. See. He should have one. I yes, do have demolitions. But I'm trained in that. Isn't there, like, a team of demolitionists on board this ship that can do that as well? Yeah. Yeah, they're I'm all... trained in... Oh, oh, you mean like that, yeah. Right, so that sure, team was. But you're already there, and yeah. one bomb's yeah, already they blew gone. up one of them. By the way, I did more tracking as well during this. Okay. Is there anything Sweet. else I found? Uh, through your investigations, uh, the the people are talking about the people that are on board their vessel that they talked about, but there's no logs to record that these four individuals were even uh, came on board the vessel. Like they didn't go through the security checks. But there is a record of them, uh, at least via mouth, that they are on the Thunderhawks. Four guardsmen. Do I need to roll an additional... Oh, guardsmen, one through four again. Yeah. <laughs> Do I need to roll an additional tracking uh, skill to identify where that officer is? Or can I just discern that by... Uh, so you discern where his uh, quarters would have been. You go there, um, and as you enter that room, you just see, like he took blood and smeared it all over the wall, and just he was oh. right, he was right, he was right, all written through the entire wall. Rantings of a madman. I uh, relay that information to Euclides and Moth's character, uh, Sister Brissara. Oh, look to the your. Your captain, Dominic. It's best not to read the writing on the wall. It could corrupt your mind. Well, with the Sims, the writing is on the wall, yeah. brothers. Don't read it. I, I, I turn away and I, uh, did I at least see any bodies or anything else besides the writing on the walls in that quarters? No, it just looked like someone like you can see it obviously where someone like slit their throat or something or not throat, uh, arm and. Like with smearing blood with their hands on the walls. All right, then I continue looking for the officer. I just, yeah. As in, like, I move on from that quarters and just move on and try to locate the officer. You also relayed that to the Marines, right? I relayed that to Euroclides and to Sister Brissora. So I would not know. Okay. Uh. Well. Sure. No, actually, actually, in this circumstance. I would, no, I would just Here. notify them first, and then I would notify you. Yeah, in that, yeah, I would just yeah. notify them first, and then the rest of the kill team. Yeah. Is he still technically your kill team captain? Yes, 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 correct. I move to the. I investigate the med bay to see if there's any ones, uh, if there, any equipment was used there, beyond the beyond the records. It, say that again. I go go to the med bay to see if any equipment was used beyond the records that said it was used. You can bring Sister Z with you as well to check with... She's, she, she's an apothecary. You can... Yeah, I bring Zeal. Is that going to be more tracking then? See what yeah. if... Any modifier? Uh, plus 10.
Okay. What were we tracking again? Sorry, my short-term memory is a little shot. Um, you're tracking... So I went to the med bay with Zeal to see mm -hmm. if there's any missing equ medical equipment or if there's any medical equipment that was u used without authorization. No. You don't find any of that there. And since I was looking through the logs, was it been authorized recently to heal any anybody's wounds? Nope. Not that you're aware of. No records of that. All right, to continue the tracking down that officer, do I need to make a, another tracking roll? Uh, yeah. Uh, same modifier? Uh, let's give you a plus 30, because you see little drips of blood leading away from the room there. I have a really there. low intelligence score, please. God damn it. <laughs> you want my, how many fake points do you have left? I have one more. I can do this. Uh, tracking. Yeah, by the way, Moth, your character's still... This is the hangar, by the way. You guys are on the hangar, so that's why we're still in this little area. So, guardsmen are there around you guys. Okay. Uh, you're able to track that blood, and you see kind of it leads, and it goes into uh, an air duct. Air duct? Mm-hmm. Is it yeah. is it big enough for a human to crawl into? Yes. Is it big enough for a space marine to crawl into? No. I notify uh, everyone, yeah. I guess, about that. And yeah. yeah. I can do nothing about it. Uh, actually, I would uh, like to ask for schematics of the air duct air duct of that particular part of the ship and see what uh, it would lead to. Right. So it leads to the leads to the bridge. The captain, or they really they have some of the information to you. They said that particular air duct leads to the bridge. Only the bridge? Yeah. Uh, the bridge and the captain's quarters. I'll go check the captain's quarters. Okay. And I'll go to the bridge. And Yellog, what is your character doing? Uh, I probably had me and my librarians just go around and trying to sense any warp taint. I realize that on an individual, it's almost impossible to detect, but, you know, maybe someone will get lucky. Right. So more individuals here. Let's see if I, if I can get as control to this to you, so that way it's easier. I guess I would have ordered that, uh, room with all the writing on the wall sealed and then had a team come down to purge it. Right. I did let us know that about that air duct? I did or let you know. Really? I, did, I did let you know. I did. Uh, I let everyone know uh, in the kill right. team and you. Then I guess you I had a like... bridge too. Yeah, you should be able to control those uh, tokens there. Yeah, Mug. Sweet. It'd be great if I could also have their vision. Is there even a bridge to this uh, map? Oh, you don't. You don't see what they see. Uh... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's kind of, kind of hard to place them when I can't see anything on the map. How about now? Do you have your vision now? Yes. I'd rather go to the bathroom, but I'll give you the vision of the rest of these guys. And uh, what'd you say, Dan? Or dude? There's there's no bridge on this map, is there? No, this is the hangar where most of the crew is. Because you guys, I'm assuming you guys did a general call down of all crew members. Right, right, right. Uh, no. I'm also thinking that the. Uh, who whoever that officer is, is in the air duct. Of course, the captain. So, maybe. I, I don't think it's it's the captain himself, but maybe. I'm 
And that's why I was asking if a human can fit through that. I mean, I'm starting to get a little bit more suspicious every time something goes wrong. The comes like, yeah, don't worry about it. We got this. We can totally do it still. There's absolutely no problems. The reactor's in pieces and the cooler's broken. No, we're good. We got this. It's just going to be slightly more dangerous, but we're good. When you put it like that, it does seem yeah. suspicious. Yes. Don't we investigate those two. But then, like, <laughs> you've, you've flown with that captain for a while, so I guess you would have some trust in him, question mark? Sure, my character has. Yeah. Me personally, I've known about him for, like, <laughs> a couple hours. Uh, true. I have a very low intelligence score. Like, the tracking rolls are ex extremely bad for me. It's a miracle I, would, I was able to pull off the first one. I'm back. Welcome back. All right, what was the question? We were talking about how um, every time a ship explodes or something goes off, we, someone keeps saying, oh, everything's fine. It'll be a little bit more dangerous, but everything's just fine. <laughs> yeah, the captain. Who conveniently also has had a uh, air duct leading straight to his room, traced back to a bleeding writing on the wall room. And I also <laughs> said I was thinking that there was someone possibly in the air duct itself. So it might be worth checking the air duct itself out. We might want to have someone to investigate the air duct to see if there's any changes from the schematics. Oh, true, true, actually, very true. Even better, we can send a couple servitors down the air duct instead of sending people. Mm -hmm. And while you're checking the schematics, maybe see if there's like any like locations marked with a red X or something. <laughs> or a giant arrow that says, place bomb here. Secret meeting room here for dark evil rituals. True. <laughs> what, what are you moving my uh, my marines around there for, man? I put I'm there to get vision. <laughs> They're I possessed. created a new one. I know I deleted one by accident. Why would we trust a heretical schematic we, where's, we can use our eyes? Where's the new one? Or did you just delete that one and make a new one? I made a new one because he got deleted. The guy on the balcony got deleted by accident. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, a duplicate, right? I, I guess. Uh, quick question. Who's this uh, guy in red with a knife? He's the crazy one. Get him. No, um, so he's telling you that he is the, uh, he's the hangar specialist, so he makes sure all the ships are armed, loaded, stuff like that, so. Any other questions about who he is? And you recognize him, you've seen him before, just your character okay. would have seen him before. All right. Um, cool. Uh, I'm like, have you have you discovered any sabotage in this area? This area seems like a prime location for sabotaging. Uh, um, kind of looks at you, looks around. I did have a couple of my crew come down unexpectedly um, a day prior. And who were they? And what did they attend to? And he pulls out a data pad and gives you the list of the individuals. He said there's two of them. And he says they're attending to one of the, one of your, one of the uh, Thunderhawks. Would it be this one directly here with like five guardsmen around it? I told you no. Uh, I believe it was uh, your personal one. Oh, I see. Uh... I come to security forces, be on the lookout for these two individuals. <laughs> you know, their name and rank and identifiers. Um, also, I tell him, then you definitely need to check that Thunderbird for explosives. It's almost guaranteed to have been sabotaged. He says, yes, sir. Uh, also, who's this other space marine? Where? Uh, below you? That's me. Carl. No. 
Yeah, the what one is... that was moving gets me. Oh, that's that yeah. and that's Dominego moving. Nope, nope. I'm attacking Mount to... Over here? This guy. Oh, damn, that he looks cool. Which guy? The one I'm pinging that my character is next to. On the Top right, right side of the map, yeah. Oh, him? Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, he, you guys, he's your guys' chaplain. He's out there helping you guys, crawling around looking for the other guys. Okay, I didn't realize we had a chaplain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have multiple kill teams, dude. But you, like not every uh, kill team has a chaplain. I mean, most no. chapters usually only have one, one yeah, maybe two cha uh, chaplains for the entire chapter. Yep, and he's he's yours. Remember, you're the captain of that this uh, throne agent and all that stuff. So he's your guys' right. chaplain. Okay, cool, cool. Considering we might have more than one chaplain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, we do one. have six librarians in my kill team, so it shouldn't surprise me that we might have many multiples of chaplains as well. <laughs> so yeah, you I are headed, the best. I had they summoned you. I headed for the captain's quarters. Uh, can I see anything in there? As the air duct was leading towards the captain's quarters. I would like to investigate it. Okay. Um, search. Search. So when I enter, it's it, it looks all right, right? Like nothing normal. Out of, nothing. Okay. Nothing in all place that you can plainly see. Uh, modifier. Uh, plus twenty. I don't see anything. You see nothing. I relay that to the rest of my kill team. And Brisora and uh, Eric Ladies. All right. And uh, we arrive at the bridge. And <clears throat> I guess we'll do a search for that air air duct. Or is it easy to find that air duct? It's pretty easy. And Karnoff, as you're leaving that room, uh, go ahead and do a dodge. For no particular reason at all. No, no there's a reason. reason. Modifier? Uh, plus 20. You you kind of like senses. Holy shit, I dashed the shit out of that. <laughs> yeah, that room explodes. There's booby trap. Holy shit. Oh, wow. I was going to make like a Skyrim archer arrow joke where they just like sidestep an arrow. <laughs> out of nowhere. No. <laughs> No, uh, it's more like cool all right, don't look boom. explosions. Kind of knocks you to your, knock, knocks you forward. The explosion is pretty, pretty big. But that's the captain's quarters. I relay that to the rest of the everyone <laughs> that the captain's quarters was booby trapped. You know that reminds oh, me of, of Star Wars, the Clone Wars, where uh, one of the Jedi literally got his his quarters got um, bugged, but a clone, but he was about to enter in. But I uh, got distracted and a clone trooper got in and got killed. Oh, interesting. Hello? 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 No. Oh, sweetheart. I didn't know. I thought you were going to be gone all day, my love. I'm sorry. I thought you were going to be gone all day. Okay. Anyways. But yes. Okay. So that room explodes. Boom. So when you say the captain's room, do you mean like Captain Lucius's room or like the other captain's room? The captain of the ship. Like Okay, uh, so not Captain uh, Dominego. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. have multiple captains. <laughs> ship Definitely captain. not Captain Eric Ship captain. Ship captain. Ship captain. Right, but we just eliminated another captain. So. <laughs> <laughs> just want to be super clear on which captain we're talking about. <laughs> captain, captain, my captain, captain. <laughs> Captain, I'm going to execute the captain. I'd imagine we get up to the okay, bridge captain? and ask everybody's <laughs> ranks and ask who's a captain, and everybody just raises their hand. Yo! <laughs> hey, in the Air Force, that happens more often than you might think. Oh, yes. Really? Every, so, officer, think... Uh, every pilot's an officer, and I deal with a lot of pilots, so yeah. 
<laughs> oh, see, I'm uh, out of line, Yellbug, with my rankings for individuals. Oh, this oh. is Space Marines, not the Air Force. <laughs> you're in the air. You're in a spaceship in space. We're so in the Space Force now. Space yes. yes. However, <laughs> you wouldn't have captains in the Navy unless they were the captain of a ship. True. Mm-hmm. But this ain't a Navy. This is the in space. So they yeah, were not. It's the Imperial in the Navy. <laughs> Uh, in space, yes. Yes, it's still the Imperial Navy. But it's not a Navy, though. It's it is a Navy of spaceships. Not... It, it's, it's space Navy. This isn't. This isn't. Uh, it's Stargate, space force. where the captain is not the captain of the spaceship. <laughs> but yes, the captain is the captain of the spaceship. Anyways, right, but, uh, but that guardsman was a army captain, completely different than a captain of a spacecraft. But yes, anyways. Um, Captain Carter explodes. You guys are checking the main bridge now. Yep. And mm-hmm. the air duct. We see the air duct. Was the air duct camper to get in or out? Uh, search. You modifier. Look at, uh, plus twenty. Your character looking what? at it doesn't see anything discerning from it. Uh, you see droplets of blood right below the. Uh, the air vent on the ground. But where do they go? No, it's literally it's like where the where the air vent is, air duct oh. is on the ground. You see the droplets of blood. So obviously, this person has been here. But is the blood anywhere else on the bridge? Does it go Are anywhere, tracking? or is it just uh tracking? You just see the blood. You found the blood. Aha! Okay. I found- Plus 20. Uh, you see droplets of blood leading behind uh, the birch helm. And also another trail that goes to where the uh, the astronomical, uh, the psyker for the navigation, his pedestal would be, or his oh. little area. Oh, shoot. Our, we're stationary ship, right? Our ship is still stationary. Yes, yeah, currently. Yeah, dark. yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, I tell everyone to evacuate the bridge. Well, I mean, they already did that when you guys called them all down. They, so there's no one on in these areas. Yeah, when did we do that? When did we do that? Did, did you summon everyone to the hangar? You no, guys didn't summon, summon the other people. people. We were, we're on summoned. the other ship to the hangar. Okay. Well, then they the should all be in their places. Yeah, and there should also be a security detail looking for those individuals that we had named before. Right. Well, they didn't see him. So, anyways, uh, so they're clearing the bridge then, but they didn't see anyone. So, did we sweep the bridge for explosives and whatnot? Yeah, let's sweep the the bridge for explosives. That's also going to be search, huh? I'll help us out that. Modifier? Plus 20. So plus 30, then, with the help? Oh. Right? I no idea. This, I forgot how it says that's, that's plus 20, that's not plus 30, so that's technically would succeed. Okay, uh, you do find a set of explosives, like, by the helm. Uh, it's kind of like integrated into it, sort of. And it's like very masterful, too. Like, very interesting. So, booby traps. And also, the same thing underneath the Astronomicon's navigation. Uh, no are the blood uh, trails ending as well. A little drop of blood. It's not enough to alert people that someone was here, but it's enough for you guys to say, hey, this guy that we're aware of now that was cutting himself. Came to the air ducts at least, and in this area. Right. So the trail goes to each one of them. Does he backtrack as well, or as does... like little droplets of blood? You don't really see a discernible trail. Mm. Okay, we need to zoom in and enhance the blood and see the drip pattern. That way, sure. we can determine which direction he was moving. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> enhance. Enhance. Quick, quick, bring me a black light and orange glasses. 
Your helmets would have that kind of stuff. You'd be able to pray it, track them. And uh, yeah, like yeah, CSI joke. It's sweet. And uh, yeah, Mike, what are you doing with your team? Uh, well, you know, I'm gonna have them, you know, canvas the area as I place them around, you know, for maximum view pointage, so I can see them as much of the map as I can. Um, you know, and investigate anything that seems suspicious. I'm also gonna question this group of guardsmen around this, you know, bird. What are you currently doing? On the top right on the map. Uh, so they tell you they're just armoring it for the coming fight. This is actually, they tell you it's a fighter craft. Okay. Um, hey. You don't mind pausing your bark for a moment. Please come over here. And I would like okay. to sign a science each one of them. Sure. To try, and, to try and, you know, if I get super close and touch them, maybe I can, you know, feel that presence. In the meantime, I would okay. go up to a bridge and assist uh, the man and the Yeah. Okay. Can I talk to the ship, Captain? I don't think this ship is ready for combat. It's been sabotaged to a degree. Uh, he looked at you and says, um, I agree. So I order a general abandoned ship. And it's got like the vessel. Whoa. I what? A bit extreme. Way too extreme. Wait, what the fuck? Scuttle the vessel. I, I thought was, I thought I was talking to the moth. No, that's what he's telling you. He's like, I, uh, he can do that on your command. I mean, you guys deal with warp entities all the, all the time, so he has no problem wasting his own ship if he has to. We can I thought I was talking to bombs. Captain Moth. I thought I was talking to Moth. Moth's not a captain, though. He's, no, he's a throne agent. Yeah, uh, the captain you're thinking of, the other captain, is Yelmuk's character. And he's currently in the hangar interrogating guards. Guard. captains. I don't know. Okay. So all right, all right. Let's let's stop saying captain and start saying what they're supposed to be. So okay, there's the three. There's a captain. Uh, there's a ship's captain. There's a kill team's captain, which is Yilmug, and then there's you, our kill team leader, captain. Captain. Which is the captain of your guys's Death Watch. Yes. Yilmug's on an entirely different Death Watch group. <laughs> he came to assist you guys. Sure. So, anyways, um, right. So, who are you talking to then? I was well, thinking of the a... ship captain, and I guess that, is, that, that is scuttles. Ship that is ship captain. That's what he's telling you. Yeah, and he says to we're gonna scuttle an abandoned ship. Yeah, if 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 if, uh, if it's not right for combat, we can scuttle the ship. Uh, he'd have to definitely talk to Moss character before executing that order. Okay, but it's yeah, that's that's a little. You... That's way too extreme. He does tell you that's protocol. Your character Moth would know that is protocol. That if that they're compromised, the scholarship if they have to. It's not that bad. Three bombs just went off. Yeah, but we found a dozen more. And disarmed them. Yep. Yeah, but what more didn't we find? Are they the last two bombs? Haven't well, I haven't been searching this whole time to figure yes. this shit out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So what did, what did I turn up? Do I do more tech use rolls, or uh, I already figured this out? Right. And uh, Yelma, your character was asking, what of the, the mercenary group? Uh, I was just going to do a, a sign of science on, uh, on them to just try and determine, you know, if I could sense anything from any of them. All right. So you do your science science, and then... Uh, Tesseract, you do your rolls. Any next. modifier right. on it? How Plus many 20. rolls do you want, and what's the modifier? Three and ten. And Yelma, okay. 20. Okay. On that, all four. Is it, a, is it a positive 20? Yeah, plus 20. Okay. Okay. First guy checks out. Nothing. And you find more bombs, Hercules, the other guy checks out good. And the third guy checks out good. And Tyson, you're still searching for bombs. You, you think you might have discovered one. 
And the last guy is clean too. Okay. I just nod to them. As you were. Emperor protects. So, no, Neil Tyson, you found. Yeah. That last one was plus 20. I fucked up. That's fine. Uh, right. So, you did find a couple bombs there. The. Uh, Located more around the engines, trying to disable uh, one around the communications, trying to disable communicate long range communications. These servitors did a good job. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. yeah. For only being a handful of them. God damn. Um, so, how many did we find? We found one and we pretty much killed him. I think we need to figure out, like, if these are rigged remote detonate or like if the guy who's supposed to detonate them is like inside the ship like we need to get to the bottom of this and disarm these bombs before something terrible happens okay so you're gonna do tech use on the bombs see how they're correlated uh wouldn't that be demolitions hey you're, you're disarming it to figure out how they work right are you trying ah. to be like all right. So, what's the modifier on that one? Plus, plus ten. Okay. So you're able to discern that all these bombs, after analyzing all of them, were connected to uh, sort of a remote switch, um, and you think you could probably track this switch. You have a good idea where it would be. Okay. And Dan, what are you doing the whole time? You're with the other team searching for the last couple guys? I am with uh, Dominego and Prisora aiding them. Uh, yes. Well, okay. With the ship, Captain. Brothers, it appears that the bombs are rigged to remote detonate. We must, okay. uh, we must yes. find who is responsible for this. Right. So, uh, and that was the role for that, to see where it's coming from? Yep, the tech use. Yeah. Yeah, with all your technology, you're able to discern that it's coming from the uh, the navigator's podium. Uh oh, it's mm. coming from the navigator's podium. Dun dun uh, dun. They have to go to the bridge. Comes from inside the bridge. So you have to, it, yeah. Huh? The call is coming from inside the house. <laughs> is it the navigator himself? Who a lot of navigators tend to just be, you know, attached to the ship physically. Is this I don't one of think those... we would know that. We he's not, he's know... not physically attached. He can, okay. he can... So that's not one of the... Ah. Yeah, okay. And which is evacuated the bridge. It's probably Navigator. All right. Wait, well... Why would the Navigator plant his bomb at the navigation? No, it's not... It's not that he planted a bomb at the navigation. It's just that that's where the remote detonator is for the bombs all over the fucking ship. So, so what going, we need to do, there? yes, yep. we should detain the navigator and interrogate him and secure the podium to make sure no one can blow shit up. So let's do that. All right. Mm -hmm. So you get you get to the bridge, to the podium. Go ahead, do your uh, tech use. One of the guardsmen <laughs> pipes up. Captain, we've discovered multiple bombs in the hangar sector, but do not worry. We put some blankets over them. As my new buddy from that war barge had exploded told me, if you don't see it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Who's this uh, guardsman? Actually, Yelmog would be close to one. Wait, which captain again? Uh, the ship's captain. Who's right. that first? <laughs> uh, so go ahead, give me tech use there. Uh, head strike. All right, tech use coming up. Modifier. Uh, plus twenty. Boom. Okay, so you're able to discern that I'm whoever glad planted I got this. That plus twenty. That's yeah, yeah. So good. whoever plant whoever planted this, like it was. It's not timed, but it's triggered to when you enter a certain system. Like it's a very intricate trigger system, mm. so okay. it would have right. You're able to discern that this one went off as soon as you got to that area you're going to. Brothers, it appears that the 
navigation console is rigged to detonate the bombs when we reach the coordinates listed here. And I pull out the uh, star chart or whatever with the... Yeah, uh, right where you guys are going, that battle. Yeah, where we're about right to that head area. next. Yes. So, par probably not the navigator then. Yeah, so there's... Uh, and there's a bomb at the navigator for me as well still. Yeah. So there's still a bomb there and at the, the helm. I don't believe the navigator is at fault here unless he was on a suicide mission. <laughs> Which is well, possible. Right. Which is it still is, possible. It is it's possible. To, to still get him. So Yuma, yeah, you're going to interrogate him yourself? Oh yeah, Yuma can interrogate. She's a psyker. But he also knows him personally. He's known him for many years. <clears throat> True. Um. Yeah, I mean, I can. Helmsman too. I can be there to read him while someone else interrogates him because I'm not good at interrogating. I know. <laughs> I can still talk to him as a as a. I guess would you be friends? You'd be more acquaintances, right? Technically, our apothecary has interrogation skill. Technically, yes. Zio has that skill. All right, Moth, use them. All right, what about this gun of order, though? Those talk to Moth and ask for his gun. And uh, Yamak, do you like people questioning your navigator like that? Or It's not my navigator. It's your ship's navigator that the, the Tempest be under. It's, you know it's the right? captain's ship's navigator. That's true. And the Inquisitor's navigator. Not my navigator. He's not a Death Watch member. He's not a Space Marine. That's true. It's just some navigator. He's just the ship's navigator. <laughs> That's true. Any bonus to the interrogation roll? Uh, plus 20. Oh. Uh, he he tells you everything he needs to know. He says he he navigates the ship uh, as in accordance with uh, the Imperium Imperium laws and regulations. He did, hasn't seen anything. His guys are kind of focused on the task at hand. Um, and he, while that's happening, I'll just do the reading power. Right, and uh, he did have to take uh, a break after dealing with that that entity. The other, the other night, or the other day. Uh, you don't, you don't sense any deception, yell mug. Sweet, truthful and accurate. So they said there is a period of time where he wasn't at the podium itself. He needed to recuperate after dealing with that entity when they did their uh, little trick. All right then. Would there be Next surveillance up. in the bridge? Possibly. Next up for interrogation is who? The navigator? No, the, uh, the helmsman? Helmsman? Well, they have a regular sleep. He's a regular person. They have a regular sleep, sleep schedule, like all other human navigators, or er, helmsmen. But, yeah, sure, he'll come. Is there a surveillance on the bridge? Say again? Is there a surveillance, surveillance like cameras, on the bridge? Yeah. You're asking them. Uh, they don't keep surveillance on this bridge, no. They have logs of people who come in and out. They have that. Hmm. You guys want to check those? Probably. It'd be a good idea. Yeah, let's just check them. Okay, so... You get logs of every officer that came on board. Um, one in particular, though, there is no in, only out log for the day. What's the, what's the name? So the, the alias it gives you is a lieutenant. Really, break. really, really to the team. This record <clears throat> is the only record I found that was that came out of the bridge, but there's no record coming into the bridge. 
which means he used the air ducts. Bum, Lieutenant bum. Rigger, please report to the cafeteria for cake and ice cream. <laughs> birthday over. <laughs> oh, sweet. Cake and ice cream. Wait a second. It's not my birthday. So, are you checking the records uh, for this Lieutenant Gregor where he's at, where he's at and everything? Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's no record of Lieutenant Gregor other than a deceased one. It's been dead for years. Hmm. Who was Gregor's roommate at the time he died? <laughs> no. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, so, your character is able to discern what you were told earlier. It's probably that crazy guy who cut himself that was the officer from the war barge that, uh, some, that has documentations on a dead officer on this vessel. Yes. If we need to find that guy, then. Do we see the drop? There's a lot. Uh, so, droplets. is there a record of who who accessed that record to see who's dead? I mean, uh, you guys know who the officer is. They give you the 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 crewman initially in the interrogation gave you gave you his name that they that he gave them. Um, and he was a uh... he was what you cut Doctor Higgins, but Sergeant McCall. No, no, no. Uh, Sergeant McCrawl. <laughs> ah, wow. Appropriate name. He likes to crawl around mm -hmm. air ducts. <laughs> or he's a mackerel. <laughs> oh, I love it. Sergeant McCrawl. I love it, dude. That's great. Sure. Um, but that's the name that was given to them. Do we see the drop uh, blood droplets going out of uh, the bridge in any direction? Search. Yeah, you can do a search or tracking, tracking, tracking. Sorry. Well, they're doing that. Blood? Can I? Can I uh, uh, do some interrogations on the uh, helmsman or yeah. helmsmen's? The minigori near me at the moment. Or. Yeah, uh, I help with the search, and I specifically look for if there's bloods at the exit of the bridge. You should be... Oh, okay, okay. Any bonuses value? Plus 20? And for the search? Uh, the search uh, plus, uh Plus 10? I don't get it. You can use my fate point for that. Alrighty, thanks. Are you helping me out as well, or are you doing your own? Yeah. Thing? Oh, then, pretty much. Yeah. In that case, I would succeed then, because that would be plus two. Oh, you would. Okay. Yeah. okay. So then I, I succeed. And also, you should be the one to be tracking because you have a much higher intelligence score than me. <laughs> okay, got gotcha. you. What would we find? A potato. Uh, right, so, boy, apparently. Oh, so oh, you're, okay. you're you're following the blub. Uh, you're able to discern where he went. Uh, so he generally went down uh, to the hangars from the bridge. From from down from the bridge. Can that be the 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 the, the guardsman's new best friend? The one that spoke <laughs> about the bombs earlier? Question mark. Question mark. And Eric Lady's, uh, you just got that in your helm. <laughs> Excellent, brother. Continue your vigil. And I relate to the others. One of my brothers has captured a traitor and executed another. Uh, I relate back, you know, to uh, Aurelius. Try and ascertain from the, the captive the identity of the other traitors it should hopefully expedite our search. Right. As would you in your helmet? Um, or not in your mind. Knows to everybody. Nah, I know. Ex I'm except me. 
Really? Scroll down. It's as down as it's going to go. The last thing I oh. got was, brother, I've captured one of the traitors and executed another. And that's it. Oh, interesting. Uh, I'll do it again. Boop. How about now? The message is hidden. Mm -hmm. It's over your comms there, Heracleides. I, I still don't see anything. R really? Refresh. I'll restart roll 20 then. Yeah. So he's telling you, uh, <clears throat> brother, I've extracted from his mind where the other brother, where the others are, brother. I think we can handle this on our own. Yeah, I see it now. Cool. Hell yeah, brother. I was telling you. Yeah, brother. Yeah, but they are brothers. Uh, they're in the same death, uh, kill team. Um, he tells you they're they're they are uh, boarding a rhino transport, and they're hiding in it. And they're about to load it onto a vessel. Uh, I relay that immediately to everybody else. Be on the lookout for a rhino being boarded onto a vessel of some sort. Uh, apparently, the rest of the traders are there and attempting to leave. I am boat to the hangar as fast as I can. And they talk to the, ship, to the captain to say, no yep. one leaves this ship. Yeah, they, they said no one's uh, leaving the ship as far as they, they, they know. Uh, to gun down any vessel leaving the ship. I'm sprinting as fast as I can. No, like if 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 they manage to also say if someone does leave, shoot them down. Yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> you guys all make your way to the hangar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I presume I would arrive there first because I was like bolting down straight down there. Uh, is it possible we can grab a uh, rocket I mean, launcher on the way there? I mean, if you if you want to run through the corridors, fine. I'll just take the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Would still probably be faster, I guess, since I'm I'm actually quite fast. So I don't know, or maybe even, maybe we would be even. We would arrive at the same time. Isn't isn't the right? I think you I think you're past the weight limit on the elevators. Yeah, it's a it's a APC. Yes. APC. Mm, yeah. Maybe. I go to the armory and pick up a rocket launcher. All right. Not a bad idea. What do I see when when I arrive down to the hangar? So you see, you do see the rhino that that uh. Yeah, I was mentioning. Let me, let me put it where it needs to be. You do see that rhino that that guy mentioned. The one in full view of like three of my uh, librarians. I is I bolt right to it and just like do I uh, before I do that do I see? Uh... Oh yeah, I mean, uh, uh, it was there the whole time, so you guys would have thought nothing of it. Oh, so it's not being bored onto something at the moment. No, it's it's just sitting there, and your guy's pointing to that one, Yo Mug. It's that one right there. Oh, oh then I just casually woke up to it. <laughs> I'm trying to inspect it. So as you walk up to it, it uh, they 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 turn it on. All right. Uh, is it trying from the inside? Huh? From the inside, of course. From the inside. Well, there are the yeah. Where are they? Else? Yeah, they they turn it on. No, they activate they... the power switch on the back. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> no, they you you can't see anything. I mean, it's an armored transport, but it turns on. So, <clears throat> is it trying to breach that vessel, brothers? Is it trying? Everyone to... else, take cover. Is it trying to move at us at the moment? Oh, it's just powering on, and I mean, when do I arrive? Oh, you're here. Uh, where's your character? I put your character on the battlefield. So I guess roll for initiatives then. 
guess I would be uh, first. I don't know where to put myself. Okay. Oh, right. I didn't activate the uh, multiplier, so we don't have that. Mm -hmm. I also don't see the initiative window. Yeah, also, don't you need to launch the tractor before our initiative rolls actually get added to it? Oh, oh there you there go. There you go. So, nine. And I'll take my first roll, not the second one. I got the first roll, 14, and I got two. Well, I had a nine on my first one and a 14 on my second. Do we add the bonus to our initiative or not? What's the initiative roll No. Not Roll one d ten plus your uh, tenth digit, your agility. Mm. Yeah, the agility bonus. I know. Uh, I need to know where the thing is. Hang on. Ah, here it is. I do. Uh, let me see. On my character sheet, I had a talent. Um. Rapid reaction. Okay. Which a test to act when surprised. Well, it's not really, doesn't really apply here. Ah, a tank! <laughs> ah. Tank and Stein. Oh, there it is. We're all turning over here. Let me... I think everyone rolled for the initiative. I think we're ready. Okay, cool. Sweet. Right now, I'm just adding a uh, missile launcher to my uh, ranged weapon since I grabbed it. My initiative was wrong. Yikes. I think he has eight clips. Jeez. <clears throat> there we go. The other one had the unnatural agility bonus baked into it, so I had to fix that. Mm -hmm. And I would use the crack missile, right? To burst... Uh, <laughs> the... Yeah, crack missile is the anti-armored missile. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is this correct? Is it, like, is it kind of pinned to one side of the wall and is it can basically move in only one direction is that correct the thing this yes yeah, the, the rhino it's basically, it can turn it can turn there's just boxes and yeah don't worry about that tail thing that's just a tractor i don't actually have a but it can turn see mm -hmm. it can turn it has a turret on it because it's a praetor rhino variant so it has a big twin cannon on the top mm-hmm so, who goes first? Like Eric Lady's go first. Do they? Why do I see Besora twice? It's weird. 
What'd you get, Moth? Twelve. Okay. And I got a nine. Yeah, I got I think two. Thirteen in total. Hard. So oh, wait, no, nine in I, total. Never mind. I rolled twice the first time before you put the turn order up, and the second time just to get me in the initiative order, and then I changed it to my first roll. Yeah, well, you can change it to their first roll. Yeah. Okay, yeah again, I, I kind of want to do that. <laughs> I mean, you should, because uh, you've rolled first, and then the initiative order got put up, so your first roll should stand. There we go. Yeah, just correct your any, any, anything in, that's incorrect. All right, first roll, then, is seven. Uh, but distance is not a number. Distance is not oh. a number. Nan M. Oh, Nan M. Nine Hold up, let me fix that. That is weird. It's not fixing itself. It is in meters. Meters. How about now? No? Oh, that's fucked. Whatever it is, you're in range. How about that? You don't need to worry about ranges. If this is. This map's fucked. I kind of don't. I kind of don't. Uh, <laughs> I can just see. <laughs> um, well, I can't really shoot my rocket right from here, can I? It's going to bounce off. You can feel that it's built, like it's it tracks as well. Is there a minimum range on your rocket launcher? Is there a minimum range? Of stuff? I don't believe stuff? so. I don't believe so. If this is the year 40,000, I think we're around short range. Well, you know. Yeah, but remember, technology I mean, has also regressed a lot in the yeah, year 40,000. Uh, we have fucking laser I'll... beams and plasma rifles. What are you yeah, talking about? I... Yeah, but those plasma rifles also like to explode. Yeah, we don't have those in current tech. I'll just do a half move so I can get a better look at the APC and then fire the missile yeah. launcher. I think we uh, do have plasma weapons. They're just extraordinarily impractical. Yeah, I think the uh, roll twenty is fucked. No, that's weird. It's probably just this map because the other ones worked fine. Yeah, this probably right. Something like this. Any modifiers? Uh, I'm assuming you're half distance, so plus 20. That's a large target. Yep. Okay. How much damage? 29. What are you, what are you hitting? Oh, Second yeah. One? Missile launcher. Penetration and 10. Righteous I think, I think that's uh penetration 10. I, I, had, I had to write this very quickly. It's probably penetration 10. Crack missile also, damage forty ten plus six. I would X, be a, and penetration ten. I would be advising on where to aim. All in the back. Probably At the rhino. See that red yeah, tank on the side? Shoot there that. Might be... No. 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 You don't want to shoot that. Hit the side of the barn. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, you did 29, 10, and you, it looks like you hit the side, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's 31 minus 10, so 21 is absorbed. And how much? So that's 8 gets through, minus 8. Minus 8. Okay. Also, Righteous Fury. Also, Righteous Fury. Yeah. And the rocket? Yep. Yeah. It's oh, jeez. You, you shot it, loaded it immediately quickly, and then shot again. What was it? Just one d ten. No, you you I roll forgot, your totally attack roll again. This totally forgot is how this my works. Stick. You you roll your attack roll again for the same modifiers. Cool. You hit. So now you do another damage roll. Cool. So that's a uh, minus two from the last damage. Yes. Yeah. So yes. If the other one was eight, then this one's six. Yeah, minus six because it's thirty one on the side. So. Oh. And then minus six. I gotta pee real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. I thought Eric Lane's was first. Oh no, you're. Oh, you got nine. Oh, anyway, I had to, um, that was my first roll was fourteen. Second roll was two. And Neil Mug said he did his first roll. He did pretty much the same thing, but he switched his thing to first roll. So it's yep. the enemy's turn. Yep, it's yep. the enemy's mm -hmm. turn. So it's going to rotate its turret. And fire in your direction. 
Who's right? Let me say your direction. Uh, the the Dame goes. Okay. Well, the one I'm, who shot at him. I'm standing in front of him, so I would take the full, most of it, I guess. Oh, it depends on how much it ate. <laughs> it missed and hits hits the uh, blamos the side of the uh, hanger wall there. Okay, by. Oh wait, this is a predator tank. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a rhino variant. Yeah, uh... it's a, still. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, it's a rhino variant. Yeah, predator variant. No, a predator is not a rhino variant. It's not. Predator tank. It's a rhino. Rhino S. A predator tank is a predator tank. A rhino is a true transport, not a tank. Well, then, fine. Predator tank. Predator tank. Oh, okay. Uh, card yeah, off. Even worse. Also, how do they get that many people in? Turn off or the other guy would be next. I'm slightly higher, so that would be the next, I guess. So, yeah. And oh, regular take humans. Turn really be able to operate a predator because it's designed for space marines and power armor. Is it? Yes. Yes. Is it? Hold on. Let me... I'm reading it. I'm back. Hello. Welcome back. It about says just, it's your turn. Just space Marines using it. Uh, it says it it's your be, turn, but it's not actually. Turns before me. Yeah, yeah exactly. it says driver, gunner. That's all that's required. And it is a okay. heavily armored and armored version of the Rhino. Th this yeah. version specifically, it is. Right. That's all I was trying to say. I'm like, it's, it's it's under the Rhino variants, and I'm looking right at it. He has the same underbody. Anyways, uh, Brissora, go. It's actually no, my, my turn. turn because it, oh, is it? Brissora is seven on the initiative. I had a seven, not a twelve. So it should be lower on the list. Oh, okay then. Neil Tyson, Tyron. No, no. You're well, no turn off. Wrong. It's the other guy. Turn off. That's fourteen, right? No, no, right. no, I'm not 14. No, no, I'm, I'm no, nine. Stop changing the numbers. We've already set the numbers where they should be. Yes. Sweet. Well, then Neil Tyron's then. It's no. Heracletes. No, 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 no. You guys are getting this all wrong. Tyron's the 14, six. the guy with the 14, yeah, I'm a six. The guy okay. with the 14 then was Dominego. He already Neil went. Neil Tyron's then duplicated. Got went. it. We all... All right, Heracletes. Yep. Heracletes, go. Yep. There's a duplicate. My bad. Cool. Uh, I step back and uh, just roll a crack nade at it. Okay. Because that's the only thing I have that could possibly hurt this thing. Well, you can also, don't you have psychic powers against I just realize it. I can't use psychic powers against a tank. It would do no damage. The people in the tank. People in the tank. No I mean, if you'll let that work, then sure. I will use... Yeah. Um... Absolutely. What's stopping it? All right, uh, then I will use Rending Maw on the inside of the tank, <laughs> uh, oh, which thanks. they should have a significant disadvantage to dodge against because they're inside the tank and can't dodge outside of its radius. In fact, they should right. just auto-fail the check. They will. Good. Um, I'm going to willpower it because I got to. Reading. Unfettered. Oh, God, I failed. Uh -oh. uh, 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 it's point that. I mean, I would like it to burn the ball. Any, any, is there anyone with, uh... Does anyone have any fate points they would like to give me for this? I have one more fate point. I'm giving it to you. Sweet. Oh, there you go. Did you burn scraps. all your fate points earlier? Is that what happened? Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> nice. uh, you, did, well, then, the nice did, thing is, is that it, all it does is it fails. There's no repercussions because I didn't roll a double. Okay. Good question. Can we still use the fate points from the apothecary, or is that off limits? Uh, it's per player, so off limits. All right, then. This... Anyone have a fate point? Your fate points, maybe? Question mark. I got one I can throw your way, then. Okay. Our fate what? is our shield, hey. brothers. Okay. Do your damage. Because nice. this will hit them 
twice. Once this turn, and then once again at the end of their turn. Um, I just realized I have custom ammunition with my heavy bolter, which deals extra four brute pen damage. Yeah, it does to armored targets, yes. To any targets with armor of 10 or higher. I could does probably that... use that next round. Does that, does, does that ignore armor? Uh, no. Okay. Um... In fact, there's no penetration on it at all. So oh, okay. technically but it shouldn't work, but then it can't work. 25 damage to anything inside of it now. And then at the beginning of their turn, uh, they would have to make like another dodge roll, but since they can't dodge, uh, they will take another 25 damage as uh, the jaws of a sh uh, ethereal shark bite them and drag them into their death. Right. What How much power is this? Right. So you just uh. It's a space shark uh, psychic power. Yeah. You just you just uh as you do that you hear a big plop in the side of the tank. The kathunk. How big is it? By the way, in height as well. The rending maw. What a, a rhino or a predator? Rending maw. Oh. Uh. Oh God. It would be. Five meters. In all directions. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, sorry. It would be uh, tw uh, 25 meters. So the whole tank? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there was no way they could have dodged out of that. And even, no, they even, didn't. Even in the up direct, in the, if, if we, it's like in uh, all directions. Hang on, hang on. Let me. No, no, no. The blast radius is just my starter ring, so it's just a five meter radius. Five meter radius cool. all around it. Yeah, yeah. So it should be everything inside the tank. I five meters is still pretty big. Yeah, yeah. it is all still right. pretty big. It should still encompass the tank. All right, Karnoff, go. You said it doesn't go through armor. I would like to jump up on top of a tank and hack into its turret with my sword. Trying to disable the turret. Okay. So, uh, would that be? Uh, can I just do that, or do I have to roll to get on top of a tank? Would yeah, I do a pilot check? I imagine you're doing your jump jets. A pilot check. Uh, yeah. I I can just. Can I just leap on top of it? I mean, I think I should be able to. Well, how? How high can you jump? I think pilot checks are only supposed to be for like dodging that stuff while you're in the air. Uh, right? Pilot checks are supposed to be when you're trying to do complicated maneuvers or trying yep. to dodge something. It's be a little bit complicated because you're trying to move on a active tank and. Oh, it's standing still. It, right? It's standing still. I'm just just jumping up on top of it, kinda. Mm -hmm. The GM has spoken. Yeah, go ahead. Make uh, your jump. But, uh. Pilot check, right? Yeah, plus tw plus plus twenty. Yeah, where is it? I can't find it. Uh, jeez. Tracking. I can't find uh, it. Oh, it's on the right side. Oh, because it's on the right side, right? Okay. What does your weapon have? Tearing, you said. Uh, my weapon does have tearing. Yes. Great. <laughs> I, I get on top of a tank, uh, and I would like to hack in, since that's technically kind of a charge. Uh, okay. Uh, that will be a... 10, 15... Yeah, that's just going to be 25. I hit. Okay. And deal your damage. Since my uh, I rolled a six, my penetration is doubled, so it's a penetration of ten. So let me look at the stat thing again. Where did it go? I hate when this thing appears. Just trying to saw so. this turret in half. Pressing all of and my weight top. against it. Against the blade. Yeah, it is top turret, so I guess I can give it the rear armor value since it's like on the top. So it has an armor of 20 on top, 
So minus, you said 10? Mm-hmm. So 10 of your damage is absorbed. So 28. 28. 28. And it is going through the patch. It's just a Versa. metal on metal sound. Just. Oh, yeah. For Sora, go. Oh. All right. Uh, I don't quite know how far it is, but I guess I'll also jetpack over. You have a jetpack? Yeah, that's badass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I should be on top of it. Sorry. Oh, there you go. I'm on top of it. Oh, you guys just appeared. <laughs> put your, just put your icon above the ic the the ship, and we'll you're on top of the ship. Or actually, hold up, I can actually push this backwards. Uh, let's see, layer back. There you go. How about that? Try now, moth. Be able to right, on top now. Yeah, pod check as well. Alrighty. Any bonus? Uh, plus 20. Oh, yeah. Here you land on top of it, and what are you shooting into? Uh, would I know where the pilot sits? Uh, I, mean, I would be can't. telling you because I used to be a tank commander, so you can ask me and I'll tell you. Yeah, he, right. can, quickly see, he can quickly point <laughs> it to you. Yep, I indicate where the pilot is sitting. All right. Double melt the pistol blast straight into that guy. Where he would be sitting then. Okay. Hey. We'll open the hatch first and then shoot? Nope. I mean, you can't open it from the outside. I would oh, melt okay. the pistols. I mean, it'd be All a right, very shitty be... tank if they could do that. Like, what's the yeah, point they of the can armor? Block, <laughs> they can block the hatch from the inside. I mean, would they know to do that? Yes. If they know them. how to crew a tank, they know how to operate a fucking hatch. <laughs> Who knows? Close These range. are just demolitionist experts, and they never dealt with a tank. Close range bonus is like plus 10 or 20, right? Uh, I think it was plus 20. Uh, yeah. Half range is plus 10, and I think within 5 meters it's plus 20. All right, then. <laughs> and that's a uh, charge of speed ring. Oh, so you ignore its armor. Oh, yeah. So you blow a hole through it, dealing 38 damage. <coughs> it's about 37, sir. 30, uh, 37, sorry. Unless the armor oh, rating is 21, then it would be 38. No, 19. <laughs> nice. Yep, you yeah, blow, you know you blow I mean. a big hole straight through that uh, driver's <laughs> oh. area compartment. I don't think there is a driver anymore. <laughs> right? <laughs> he got massacred. I got him! <laughs> uh, uh, tech Marine, go. Um, first, I'm going to applaud uh, the efforts of uh, Moth's character. And then... So now that you were attacking the pilot, there's what a gunner still. Maybe if he's not dead from the psychicness already. Yeah, but which they I very much could that. be. Yeah, it hasn't been their turn yet, that. so no one knows if they're still alive at all. <laughs> so moth could have been shooting at a fat nothing. Well, yeah, it's it could have been nobody now, in the for sure. Who knows? The pilot's uh, just a holding pilot slack. I'm going to climb up on top of the tank where the gunner's hatch is and try to rip it open with my uh, servo arm. Yeah. So you're going to help uh, Karnoth rip it open then? Yeah. Because he's already digging into it with his uh, chainsaw. So uh, okay. Oh, I thought he was trying to cut the barrel off. I'm, I'm digging into the, the turret. turret. Yeah, into the turret. Ah, oh, okay. All right, well, um, that means there should be like a slight opening like where the oh, chainsaw yeah. is. Oh, yeah, he's cutting so... it open. He's going through it. So he's like the can opener, and I'm like the guy grabbing the top of the can lid to peel it the rest of the way off. And I'm doing that Correct. with my servo sure. arm. <laughs> so I'm it. gonna do it. I'll do a two hit roll to see if I can get it. 
Oh no. Swing and a, a miss. Point. Don't you have fate point, Tess? Uh, I do have a fate point. So I can re roll that. Subtract one fate point, yada yada. And then it'll be plus 10. And That's there we go. More like it. There wow, you go. Roll the five. Do um, your damage. And then do the damage. There we go. Oh, pen 10. So 16 yep. gets through, but it, the damage done by uh, Karnoff, you're able to rip that hatch right off. Yep. Hatch gets torn off, and now there's a gaping hole in the side of this thing. Um, can I oh, take that's... a free action to look inside the hole and see if the gunner is still alive? Sure. I'm going to do that. <laughs> you see a I'm... very exploded head on the inside. Brothers, it appears that his head has exploded, but there may be warp powers that are interfering with his body to allow him to still operate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to say or that. Or he's just dead. <laughs> or he's right. just dead. That's right. also a so... possibility. Yeah. Anyway, allies go. <clears throat> so the Marines are going to back up. Or the the mercy, yeah, the guardsmen are going to back up. Cool. And then the librarians, one of them's just going to jump on top of the tank and do a smite inside of it. Yep. Go just, ahead. You know. Actually, you have, two uh, near, you, have, you have two nearby. Actually, you have three nearby, so... Yep, I do. <laughs> so, you get three chances to do this, man. Sweet. Uh, they'll do it fettered. Okay, so rolling doubles is not so bad? Correct. If I roll doubles, it doesn't cause the perils of the war. Cool. Much cooler. Works. Not cool. Sweet. So one of them was able to actually get their smite off, uh, and they are one rank below me, so they'd be side rating four. So uh, a power of two. So everything inside would take uh, 15 damage with a pin of two. Okay. Curse in, a two in a two meter radius. All right. The mangas go. Well, everyone's on the tank now. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Just shoot it and find an explosive uh, rocket. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> we are space marines. So... We can take it. I can't. Is that the guy who uh, tried to plant a melt bomb and almost blew his hands off? I'm yeah. much uh, tougher than the, from from that. I don't think you want to take melt a melt bomb. That was just a crack grenade. grenade. That was just a crack grenade. Yeah, that was just a crack grenade. So. Yeah. Two of them. Oh, true. It wasn't even so a there's the driver or the pilot. He's pretty much gone. The gunner's pretty much gone. Is there pretty any more? No, they're both gone. Passengers? Is there any passengers? In, do we know? Like potential? Don't know. Don't know. Is there any passenger seats in the Rhino or 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 whatever we decide? What vehicle? Where? Well, it's not a Rhino. So it's not a troop transport. Well, it's it is predator. Rhino based. Predator. This one is a is Rhino. They share the same chassis. But Holy if it's a predator, it'll be filled with armaments and munitions for the main cannon, as opposed to a crew, a uh, passenger. Yeah. Compartment. It is a more heavily armed and armored version of the Rhino armored personnel carrier. Okay, so there's and potentially if you hit the ammunition, the ammunition rack might burn down and explode the tank and will damage flying. everyone on top of it. Yeah. So. Well, considering that the turn orders thing is still here, or initiative is still here, I bet I have a feeling there's still someone inside. I mean, he could also just have it or, up just for us to completely the tank now. disassemble this tank and see how long it takes. <laughs> <laughs> we have all the time in the world. <laughs> you could right. delay your turn. You could delay your turn. Okay. After all, so, yes, at the beginning of their angrily turn. at the guardsmen for running away like cowards, and then that would be your turn. <laughs> yeah, I'll just. I just want to take over the 
you can you can also okay. aim if you want. You can take an action to aim if need be. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I'll I'll bolt. There's not really good covering here, is there? <laughs> no, I mean the no, hangar barrels. What, what does the barrel consist of? Fuel. That's true. But also the tanks are there too. You see those other tanks, and the APCs and weapons of war. Uh, so you can take cover and aim. I don't. They're hidden by a fog of war. Yeah, same. Yeah, I don't oh. see it. Oh, really? Like, all the aircraft that are in here, we don't really see them because they're covered by fog of war. I can, we can pretty <laughs> much see their wings, and that's about it. Yeah. Okay, so I, I did them incorrectly. That's fine. Well, so. um, I would just take aim and be ready to fire. Okay. So, there that's you go. Uh, they immediately take another 25 points of damage, uh, not ignoring if, if they exist. No pen, if they still right. exist. Right, so <laughs> the tank doesn't do anything. Eric ladies go. Cool. I think they're dead, brothers. Hmm. That is a very astute observation. I doubt there would be much that could survive the onslaught that we just <laughs> threw into the inside of the vehicle. I doubt there would be many missile. space Astartes who could survive what we just threw into the vehicle? <laughs> I suggest we get away from the tank. Well, sh should we not in investigate it first? Well, we did investigate, remember? I peeled it open like a can opener. Barely. We saw that Briefly. the one dude... Not the whole tank. Ah, true. Well, let's just... Let's just search the tank. Well, uh, some of us do some overwatch just in case. And also we should Not check the other, other vehicles to see if any other have been compromised. So if you guys come in there, you find the remainder, the remaining traitors that uh, that guy spoke of inside the tank with their heads exploded. So the first volley just got them. Mm -hmm. Damn. <laughs> and one of them, the driver, is melted. Super, super dead. <laughs> He is, uh, he is a pile of fleshy slag. I was going to say, their their bodies should be a horrible mingled uh, wreck due to the psychic powers. Yeah, yeah. Because it physically drags them down into the depths of hell. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, they're just mangled <laughs> things on the ground. Yeah, that does sound like space sharks. Captain, we didn't find any people. We just found a bunch of puddles. <laughs> and bone. Ah, good. Then my powers did its job. <laughs> I call that a success. Heresy thwarted. Yeah, I would like to investigate so, uh, any other many, vehicles that are still present. How many puddles are in there? Uh, Just one so, large one. <laughs> no, uh, all the remaining traders that you guys are looking for, they're all six. Because uh, uh, the one guy found two, and there's four in here. But they could have recruited, recruited more. Mm -hmm. Possible. I doubt it. I don't think they're hiding. If they're really smart about it, they would have been spread out. But since they all hide in one place, I don't think anyone else is uh, hiding. They were probably doing what they tried to do last time, which was plant all the bombs and then get out on a bird uh, like they did last time, and then set it off. Set all the explosives off. We just caught them before they could escape. This well, they time. didn't even need to do that. It would have exploded when we got to our destination. So they were probably just yep. waiting till we got there, then flying away when during the chaos. Yeah, I mean, r regardless, it sounds like they were stowing away. But right. the ever vigilant brothers, there may be more, but I think we got them all. Let's get these bombs disarmed, eh? Yep, let's do that. Let's yeah, let's disarm the bar bombs and do one more. Yeah, you're. Yeah, you're uh, the. Demotion team that was in the engineering room uh, was following um, Tech Marine around, disarming as they went. Oh, ah, okay. uh, Tech Marine. the ones in the bridge. Be yeah, sure to check perfect. over our Thunderbird for the mission because I guarantee it was been sabotaged. Oh, such a mm -hmm. an excellent vehicle. point. Yeah, check as... that blanket. I think it looks a little suspicious. Yeah, the blanket <laughs> that the guardsmen put over the bombs. What bombs? <laughs> Yeah, what bombs? I don't see any bombs. Exist. They must not be. I, I don't know. Line. A blanket in a hangar bay just seems a little suspicious to me. Already. Not, not really. 
I rip off the blanket. <sighs> what to is reveal I mean... bombs? No <laughs> way. Heavy padded <laughs> blankets are used pretty often in the transportation of, of uh, machinery and goods and stuff. So it wouldn't be that out of place to see a heavy blanket I'm just draped over some crates. I'm a fucking nun. That looks weird. <laughs> You're a military <laughs> nun. You served in a military. I was a combat nunnery. They're not called blankets, brothers. They're called tarps. And they keep the dust off of the machinery. So this is probably uh, definitely a good stopping point since the Inquisitor is going to be here to be rolling onto the mission. We should also check any nice. other vehicles. God damn it. Yeah, <laughs> I, want, I was thinking I'm of gonna, checking other vehicles. But yeah, real quick. Uh, how many tech uses do you want for checking each vehicle, Boko? Uh, just do three and then they'll check the whole hangar. All right. Modifier on the uh, plus 20. You can have all the guardsmen help you, too. Okay. I'll help out searching. I'll also help I'll out really searching. Um, you find no no bombs, no destructive devices on any of the vehicles. You are searching are they, are the Thunderhawk. Are there any suspicious crew in any of the vehicles? No, but in the Thunderhawk that uh, Yelmug's character, Eric Hayes, is talking about, they did sabotage the, the engines. The vehicles are clean, brothers. For the Thunderhawk, they sabotaged the engines. That too was going to be. It was on a. It was going to detonate as soon as you guys were off the ship. So stranding you in space. They've rigged the Thunderhawk to explode as well. Yeah, that's fine. Just leave those bombs. Those are intentional. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh, we got another guardsman from the peanut gallery. Is it the idiot? Sire! <laughs> Grand Lords! Wait, we all have. Wait, we can all do it, idiot? Yeah. <laughs> we can all be idiot guardsmen, yes. And I, I, I presume all the Hooray! commotion would be known. Space Marines save the ship from total annihilation! <laughs> hey, we found our blankets! Now we can sleep cozily at night. <laughs> Thank the Emperor! God Emperor be praised! We found the blankets and the bombs have been found! Alpul, hell the emperor's life defense. Don't ask us to make an intelligence check. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> the emperor, especially for cheese and crackers. Did you suddenly get a German accent for that Seems last like one? It. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, the emperor, yeah, for cheese and Swedish, crackers. Actually, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it could be the laundry just and goods for all the bombs. <laughs> That's a uh, <laughs> checkers guide reference. <laughs> oh jeez! Now where's that squig? We need to play finish our game of soccer. <laughs> Hooray for the Death Watch and their amazing chainsaws! They saved the tank good! They saw they the tank good! <laughs> they, they did save the tank, too! Also, they didn't really use chainsaws! Well, there was one chainsaw, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that's right. I thought he had the power <laughs> Garsman, Garsman. <laughs> I saw them do it with my own eyes. We all saw them do it with our eyes too. We were all here. We all witnessed it. Oh my god. Oh god. You saw it too? I thought I was the only one. What do you mean you thought you 
We were all here. Mm, yum yum. It's canned heretics for dip dip. <laughs> <laughs> what happens? My eyes were closed the entire time. <laughs> but I am that, but a coward. <laughs> oh, well, you see, they they sawed the tank with their chainsaws, the big ones, <laughs> and blew it right off without exploding it, just cutting it to pieces. It was crazy. You should have seen it. We were there. You should have been there. You were. You just didn't open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I kept my eyes closed, so there's no way they could hurt me. Oh, that's exactly how it works. If you can't see them, they can't see you. <laughs> Amazing. Did they find any cheese in there? I need some for my tea. Oh, my Emperor. I heard some Marines opened a tin can. Did they find cheese in there? <laughs> We're desperately out of cheese. I would be so cheesed to meet them. <laughs> oh, oh, did they have any delicious spam? It goes great with cheese. <laughs> oh no, they ruined the hot water dispenser and the predator. <laughs> now how will I make my tea? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, in fact, that was I think an it's almost tea thing. time now. It is in British tanks, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it is a real thing. Oh my god. Yes, the Hot meals on this ship is subpar. <laughs> Did they have any eggs? And I mean real eggs, not that weird Xenos egg shape. I mean actual <laughs> eggs from actual chickens. Jeez, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but you see, eggs are these mystical things that are round and white, and if you crack them open, there's a golden treasure on the inside. <laughs> Except Henry's allergic to them. He's not allowed to have it. Heretic. No, it's not heresy. It's nature. They were on Earth. I had once when I was a boy. You had what when you were a boy? <laughs> you had one <laughs> egg when no, you were a boy. What? what is what? An egg? <laughs> no, ah, that's an one. egg. He had a once. <laughs> I had a once. Have you not had it once? It's got cherries in it. No <laughs> eggs. No, not even once. Oh, maybe thrice. What are we talking about now? Where has this conversation gone? Why are these not us right now for incompetence? See, nobody really knows where the conversation is going. It's just the guardsmen going off the rails again. Not even that I'm afraid. I don't know what I said. <laughs> when did we start talking? When did we start talking? Excuse me. We're just too smart for the warp entities to get us. That's why Versora likes us. True, true, true. Ah, yes, indeed. After all, she keeps saying, "Blessed is the mind too small to think." In the, in the, in and we are the most we're just looking the right at. Them. Oh, that's literally what I was just typing out as you said it. <laughs> Blessed are yeah. the minds yeah. too small for doubt, brothers. Let us disregard these silly blessed. guardsmen. Only the emperor can save them now. Uh I have a perfect video for this. Uh, yes, but remember, these simpletons are also the ones that maintain our equipment and Thunderbirds. Thunderhawks and other things. Well, we rely if on the them if for a the lot ones, of things. If they're the ones maintaining our equipment, then I'm very concerned. <laughs> As you should be. Mm. I will also remind you, this lot is from your ship. Perhaps I should check the equipment again once over to make sure that 
the stupidity has not tainted them. We're very good at maintaining space things. Just you watch, sire. <laughs> We're not so good at the ground things, but the space things we're amazing at. <laughs> now, the occasional confusion is when the space things can become ground things. That's when it gets confusing for us. Like, oh, aren't they ground uh, things? What now? are they? Aren't they gar uh, grounded now? Magnets, okay. how do they work? Answer, magnets. <laughs> Craig. <laughs> These things become ground things. Isn't that called crashing? No, no, I think there's a separate thing. I think it's called landing. But at that point, once they're landed, they're now a ground thing and no longer a space thing. Ah, thank you, Thompson. <laughs> This is Tech Priest uh, Samson. Uh, a new policy just put in place. Uh, please do not shoot at the square that is loose in the decks. Uh, <laughs> it has recently devoured a large sum of highly explosive chemicals. I repeat, do not shoot at the square that is loose in the decks. Capture it if at all possible. Oh, brother. The, the pigs or the swigs? What? Squigs. Squigs. Like the, the, the loose squigs that have just infested the ship somewhere and they can't clean them out now. I'll need to read up on my 40k lore so I don't know what a squig is. Uh, a squig is an orc creature uh, used by orcs. Uh, harvested, raised, used as war weapons, uh, uses anything squigs. Isn't that their whole war elephant thing, the squig off? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> God, look at that squig over there! Aims at him. No! Careful! That's oh my, my pet God. cat! Oh, what? No, that's no. my soccer ball! <laughs> Pulls the trigger. Misses dramatically. <laughs> oh, you've explodes. always been a shit aim, haven't you? It's like this! Pew, pew. This is a tech priest. I repeat, do not shoot at the squig! What did he say? I think he said keep shooting at it. Yep, that's what I heard. Everyone. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, not again. The space marines are spanking everyone. <laughs> All right, I'll end it here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, but there's some things I did say. Yes, my heart guards, man. It's the spanker. It's the spanker. Everyone flee. <laughs> the serial spankist returns. <laughs> oh man, I can just imagine a big tech marine with his like mechanical arm spanking people. Oh <laughs> no. Oh no. Yeah. That Killing them in the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fractured yeah. hips everywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no one's yeah, pelvis just... shall be left intact. A single spank from that arm would completely crush your spine. It would. No, no, not the tentacles. <laughs> not here. Not, <laughs> not the mechanic rights. <laughs> no. What are you doing, Tech Marine, bro? <laughs> not no. the servo arm. That's not my kink! <laughs> I did not consent! You better not have any kinks. Kinks are heresy. What are you doing, Step Astartes? <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Uh, no, I think you've taken that was this good. part off. Right, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. She is, uh... What? We haven't summoned Slanesh yet. What do you mean? Next time <laughs> on Deathwatch RPG. <laughs> Alright, how much, how much XP do we gain from all of this? Yeah. 500. 500. Alright. Hey, and you can spend it before the fight. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. 
Do a get garbage man get experience after this RP? No, <laughs> no. I think they should. They're too stupid. They're too stupid to comprehend anything, so they don't get any experience. True. I wonder how they're maintaining if they're that stupid. They're not. They're not brain dead, but they're not stupid. Stupid. They're, they're all idiot savants. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yep. We know just enough to get into trouble. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, man. What happened? My eyes was closed. Mm. I might be on next Saturday. We'll see. Uh, But then... Yeah, let me know. Saturday after that, I will not probably not be here. Yeah, I won't be on the road. So... Ah. uh, We'll play it by ear. All right. Sorry, twenty oh. seventh. I will not be here. So yeah. Dan, uh, if you want me to control Karnoth again, you can DM me and yeah, very well. go over the details. Mm-hmm. All right, sweet. All right. Well, that was fun. Thanks for the games. Thanks oh for yeah. The games. I I <laughs> I love the social aspect to the. <laughs> Mostly the, war game. Yeah, the RP is honestly turning out to be the most fun part of all this, and that's kind of how it was uh, for Death or not Death Watch, back when we did our Dark Heresy campaign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It tends to be how these games play out. It, right. I mean, it is a role playing game. Mm-hmm. Yep, right, it is. It's almost as if it's supposed to happen. Damn. Right. <laughs> Yeah, and obviously the entity's trying to slow you down, so it, it, that worked. So. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Well, it's better than it destroying We played right, we played oh, right. right into the hand. Box, box fall and you kill the whole team. <laughs> uh, rocks fall, everyone dies. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. then. Uh, see you next week, then. All right, oh, yeah. later. Yeah, yeah see you.